Um, I don't know how to tell if anybody's watching. So... Hello, Lady Riley. I see you. So, okay. I've got my live chat. I have, I have never done this before. And uh, just between you and me, no first names. So, Grebo and Lady Riley. So, okay. I am going to be making split P. Mr. Grebo is not feeling well. I can see my chat. Hey, Laura. Hey, House of Hannibal. So just so everybody knows, this is my first ever live. Super nervous. Um, hey, KJ, hold on. Um, let's see. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? Whimsical Mimsy, hello. Okay, so Mr. Grebo doesn't feel good, and he wants a uh, split pea soup, so... That's what I'm going to do. Okay, Lady Riley, I see Laura. Hey, Whimsical, Mimsy, I see you. Uh, uh, Kidney J, if you could just write something so I can make sure you've got your little, uh, your blue. And let's see, House of Hannibal, hello, I see you. Uh, you guys are witnessing my first time. Hold on, I am trying to pull up, um, I'm trying to see how to pull up my chat. Hold on. Okay, I'm getting ready to bake. I'm, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm just trying to do this right. Okay. I can see everybody's. Okay. Pop chat. Okay, I see you, KJ. All right, so. Oh, thanks, Whimsical. Yeah, he's not feeling too good. He's got a fever, so... Uh, he wanted split pea soup, so it's a good way. Wow, this is really hard going live. <laughs> so, uh, so the first thing, uh, I need to get my onions out. So, let's see. I usually use uh, split pea. It's a good way to get rid of, like, leftover vegetables. So, um, is the background noise too much? Let me know in chat. Uh, hopefully not. Yeah. So I figure we could talk, talk about foodie beauty too, but first I got to get my, all right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks guys. I am I'm, I'm so nervous right now. And like, I'm normally, I, I can talk. I never get nervous. I don't mind talking in front of people super nervous right now so bear with me okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is um let's see can you see what i'm doing let's see there we go so you can see what i'm doing um in general with my split pea it's like a cup a cup of uh, onions, which I uh, sweat down, and like two cups of carrots, um, and then whatever, and usually about half a cup of celery, and you know, and then uh, you know for a kind of mirepoix, and then any other vegetables that need to get used up to add to their you know the vitamins, and so I'm gonna stand up so I can see chat and cut this up so this this uh small squash or zucchini courgette desperately needs to be used up so let me get this and uh okay and i i di dice up um 
all your vegetables so you can sweat them down. So, so is anybody, okay, um, I'm going to be really bad at this for a hot minute, but don't worry, I'll find my stride. You know, it's my first time. Be gentle. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody said something about balsamic vinegar. I've never tried balsamic vinegar in split pea. It sounds interesting. Um, so first things first, Did uh, for the people in chat that know about Foodie Beauty, and um, did anybody catch Chantal? And if, if you're here and you're not a Foodie Beauty uh, historian, bear with us. We'll talk about other things. But did you guys catch her... Her uh, latest cooking vlog where she was supposedly in her kitchen. Um, it was that kitchen. It was tiny. Um, you know, she had a two burner gas cooker in there. There were no shelves, really. There was one what looked like a temporary shelf. There was um, you could see the drywall. You know, there was lumps and bumps and it was just it. It did not give me the uh, a kitchen vibe so much as it gave me kind of a like a temporary kitchen vibe, almost like is she staying at a bed and breakfast maybe or like a hotel? Uh, yeah, so only watch the highlights. Yeah, like House of Hannibal said, they went from a closet to a box. I mean, the place is um, absolutely tiny. So, okay, first, I'm going to, so the first thing's first, I need to get the veggies sliced up to make some mirepoix for people who weren't raised on uh, CBC bro uh, <laughs> television, the Canadian Broadcasting Company. I, I grew up with that, and so your mirepoix, it's just uh, a fancy name for when you have celery, onions, and carrots in something. So uh, yeah, for this recipe, I'll give you the recipe real quick. Um, hey, Jarella, good to see you. This is my very first live. I'm probably gonna be really bad at it. So uh, bear with me. Okay, so the, the recipe for this split pea soup is about a cup of onions, couple cut cups of carrot, uh, about eight cups of you can use water or you can use uh, chicken broth. Um, I have some chicken broth laying around, so mine will be a low sodium chicken broth. The cup of onion sweated down, two cups of carrots sweated down, uh, a pound of split peas, which comes to like two cups of split pea. Make sure they're sorted and rinsed so you don't have any rocks in it. Let's see what else. Uh, salt to taste. I'm trying to think, what else do I use? Um, that's all I can think of for right now. So first of all, let me get. Oh, and if you are going to add any kind of ham or you know, like anything like that, unless you're cooking the split pea down with um, actual like a bone on it don't throw the meat in until the end if you throw meat into split pea soup on the front end it just cooks it down into kind of flavorless rubber so you don't want that so uh yeah unless you've got an actual smoked bone some kind of ham hock smoked ham hock bone you're going to throw in don't add it until the end uh let's see what is chat saying let's see Let's see. Hello, puppy breath. Did I say something offensive as far as the meat goes? And like I said, I'll keep saying this. This is my very first live, so the angle is probably terrible. Um, the volume is probably jacked up. Uh, I'm going to be all over the place and probably do a really bad job at it, but I'm trying. Oh, puppy breath is talking to House of Hannibal. So, um Let's see, about a cup of onions. So, yeah, it looks like about a cup of onions, wouldn't you say? So I'm 
turn the oops, turn the oven on. Yeah, like a a low a low medium, so I can sweat it down. A um, little bit of olive oil. You you don't have to sweat. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Me having to bend over. Let's see. Thanks, whimsical. So um, you don't have to sweat the vegetables down, but like with onions, when you sweat them down on a low heat like that, and if you don't know what sweating it is, food vegetables down is, is where you put them in on kind of a, a medium low heat, more on the low end, you know, and you cover them and you, you, you cook them until on a very low temperature until they become like translucent you know, and they start letting out their water. And what it does is it helps caramelize the starch. What does that mean in English? That means they, they get sweeter, you know, so they're soft and sweet. I personally can't stand onions, but I don't mind them when they're sweated down and made into a, a mirepoix, which is a carrot, celery, and onion sweated down mixture. So about, well, oops. About, let me, I like mine chopped up very fine because with my split pea, I like it so that the vegetables, they basically kind of just dissolve. So, all right. Uh, we've got eh, about a cup of onions. Let me know if you can see what I'm doing well enough. I could try to turn some more lights on. Let's see what chat's saying. Hey, MCM, good to see you. Did I miss anybody? Hey, Desiree, good to see you. Puppy breath, I said hello to. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so you guys keep, so, okay, so we got about a cup of, I, I, and I keep repeating myself. I'm literally gonna sound like a moron. Just, I'm trying. This is harder than it looks. Well, I'm gonna add a little bit more onion because this onion needs to get used up. So, yeah, my recipes are never really exact. So, okay. And let me get my, uh, I compost veggies down. So let me get my compost down over here. All right. So chop down this little bit of uh, onion. Uh, so we were discussing... Um, Thank you, Puppy Breath. Puppy Breath says I'm doing great. It's like, oh, I don't even think I'm going to watch this back. <laughs> I think the cringe factor. Um, yeah, I just need to find my stri stride. So this is going to end up being about a cup and a quarter of onions. It's, it's you know, cooking for me, it is not an exact science. It's more of a an art. So... Okay, get the onions in there on my medium low heat so they can sweat down. Um, yeah, you don't, I'm not going to tell you how to cook, but for me, I like it on a low heat. They're not sizzling and popping. They're just, you know, going to cook down. And then I need to do about two cups of carrots. So I have all these baby carrots left over from Thanksgiving. Um, so I need to use them up and actually I have two bags of them. So, uh, let's get these chopped up. Once I'm done having to think, then we can have a more in-depth conversation about Chantal. Um, I wish I could bring people up here with me, but I had to go live on my iPad and I, so it's not through any app. So I don't have the ability to bring anybody up here. Let's see. Whimsical says, to be fair, I've chopped onions and tossed them into the meatloaf when I was in a hurry before it came out okay. It's true. <laughs> in general, when you're cooking stuff, you don't have to sweat stuff down and they don't come out too terrible. But um, I'm trying to make it so when I'm cutting, you can see what I'm doing. I'm left-handed is the problem. So <laughs> everything I do will be this hand. So, okay, let me get this done. 
Oh, Jarella says her dog loves her dogs love baby carrots. Um, I had a cat. <laughs> I had a cat who loved tuna noodle casserole. Um, but she would eat it all and she would leave the peas. And yeah, I know you're not supposed to feed human food to animals. You know how it is in college. And but she'd eat all the tuna noodle casserole and leave the peas just in the middle of the bowl, just sitting there. It was hilarious. Um, I had another cat, <laughs> Marbles. She loved grapes, loved grapes. I'm going to sit down. And so, but she didn't, she didn't like the skin. So I would sit there, <laughs> my roommates thought I was crazy, and I would have to peel all the grapes and cut them in half. Yeah, she loved, she loved grapes. And she liked carrots too. No, excuse me, not carrots. Um, she loved corn on the cob. So I would be munching on one side and she would be munching on the other. Once again, is it hygienic? No, but it was my cat. Uh, but I did not let my cat on the counter. My animals did not go on counters because animals don't belong on counters. Chantal. So one of my main goals in life, if, if you're new here, is to get Chantal to say my name. People have typed it in her chat. Uh, she, she, I, I honestly believe she is aware that I want her to say my name. And I think out of spite, she's just not saying my name, to be honest. So uh, let's see. Jarella had a beautiful black cat who loved beans, peas, and beans. Right on. Yeah. Cats like crazy stuff. It's puppy breath. Not only is this fresh, but the soup's going to be creamy. <laughs> okay, so this isn't quite two cups. So I will break into the second bag of baby carrots. Let's see. Oh, hey, Chow. Chow, Chow. I'm, I'm watching chat on my phone. I said hello to Desiree. Um, anybody that's gone live before, is there some way to set it so I can tell when somebody new comes in chat? Or no, it's just you need to pay attention. So if Kidney Bay or Hannibal or MCM Reacts or somebody, if you could please let me know. Okay. So that's not two cups. Uh, i got to get into a bit more. I normally get regular carrots, but this was for the holidays, so. Uh, I think that looks like, eh, that looks like about half or two cups, yeah? There we go. That's two cups. Oh, I probably shouldn't eat this next to the, hold on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do a Chantal. Let me leave this hanging so I don't blow your things out. Okay. Okay, so everybody right now on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 0 being like, you're the worst YouTuber ever, you should never live stream again, or 10 being, um, I've died and gone to streamer, Streaming heaven. This is the best stream. Where would you rate my sound quality and stream so far? Be kind. Okay. So it's about a cup of carrots. So let me chop down the next bit of carrots. Oh, so there's no way to set the chat. Just got to pay attention. Thanks, Kidney Bay. Yay, Kidney gave me a 12, MCM gave me an 11, thanks guys. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling like a big dummy right now. And I want to get chatting about Chantal, but <laughs> my brain just isn't working real well right now for multitasking. I'm so nervous. So I'm waiting for the uh, adrenaline rush to go down. <laughs> Yay, Puppy Breath gave me a 10, thank you Puppy Breath. Sound is fine. Thank you, Desiree. Sounds excellent. Thank you, Whimsical Mimsy. Ciao. Chantal has changed so much since being in Kuwait and in married bliss to pay a 
attention to reaction channels, right? Like Chantal keeps claiming that, you know, she's so in love. Um, if you watch, because I'm kind of a creepy stalker that way, there, there are so many of these streams that if you slow it down and watch that, um, like when there was the one, so I almost sit on the floor where they were getting ready to go in that restaurant and they were outside, um, where, you know, they were, Chantal was filming and like the last eighth of a second, she made this look like just like she's not having a good time but you know she was she's one of those people that cut off her own nose despite her face like there's no way she's gonna let us know uh but like so what is up with her always going to children's attractions you know the petting zoo that little science center yet another zoo you know does she have an animal in cages fetish or no, I don't think that, but you know, it's, she's always going to these children attractions, you know, no, no place where adults would normally be. It's just weird. Uh, let's see. Hey, loyal warrior. This is my very first live. So, uh, I, so I see somebody say, Hey, yeah. Hi, Griba or hi, loyal warrior. Sorry. I'm so nervous. My very first live. So, uh, currently, I've just cut down a cup of onions. I'm now cutting down a cup of two cups of carrots, uh, making split pea, which is my way of using up leftover vegetables. Um, this is probably going to be a bit more than two cups. I apologize if the cutting is very loud in your uh, ears. Let's see. Desiree, she's doing it in the reaction, negative attention. Yeah, exactly, Desiree. Like, Chantal is one of those people that any kind of attention, attention is attention to her. Uh, but if you look like her playboards, her numbers are really, really going down. So the other day, at the end, I think it was on her uh, couples channel where she thanked her members. There was only like 13 or 14 members she mentioned you know, and it was the couple's channel, but still, uh, her views are really, really down and her income, you know, between her erasing all of those, um, those videos, it's, it's not looking good. And, you know, she's putting up on her foodie beauty channel and 16 hours later, you know, she's only got four or 5,000 views. Like, uh, people just, they're, they're over it. The Holy Trinity has left to go to pizza's channel love that for her you know and she's trying to act like it's a joke you know begging them to come back on the community post but it's not a joke you know she's i think she's realizing well as much as chantal can realize anything uh you know let's see oh thank you whimsical thank you I'll take a deep breath. Hey, Taco Bell, I see you. Remember, no first names. How you doing? So this is my first live stream there, Ms. Taco. Uh, I'm making Mr. Gribo some uh, split pea soup. He's sick, so laying on the couch. He's. Uh, I put on Lost Island for him. You know the movie with Sandra Bullock and Tatum Channing and Brad Pitt? <clears throat> Yeah, no one cares in Eric's voice. Oh, hey, Genitalia. If there's anybody that comes in and I haven't said hello, just hit me up and chat. I'm trying. So, hey, Genitalia, good to see you. Thank you. Right now, I'm sweating down vegetables. In, uh, so this pan is eh, it's kind of too small, and that's probably more like two and a half cups. So let me get a bigger Okay, this right here that I am cooking on is one of those, uh, is it convection? It's one of the ones that excites the molecules. So you can only use magnetic, uh, magnetic pots, things that a magnet will stick to, and it excites the molecules, and that's what heats them up. So, so you can touch it, and it's not hot. It's really nice. So, okay, I'm going to turn this on a medium low setting which on this thing oh and the other thing so mr grebo got me this for my birthday uh anybody that knows we moved into this 1970s uh mobile home uh modular home it's 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 a double wide oops 
I live in a double wide. So, you know, Pax and Chantal, I love my double wide. Um, and the stove that was in here was, oh my God, it looks like something happened. If you look right here, there's a big scorch mark on the, the counter. So I suspect something caught on fire at some point with the original stove. So the former owners, they replaced the 1970s stove, which was a, a cream color like my double oven with this white, very 1980s uh, cooktop, right? But, oh, it was, it's such a POS. It's, sorry, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for something to scrape this with. And so the 1980s cooktop, but it was just like the, the burners barely worked. Um, they, they had two settings off and high and it, it was just a nightmare. So we're looking for new stovetops to replace it with. Um, and even, you know, I guess I haven't looked at appli oops, appliances for a hot minute, but the cheapest just flat cooktop I could find was like over $800. It was so expensive. And I was like, uh-oh, you know, row, row. So I guess we're going to, I thought we'd just stay with that. Well, Mr. Grebo disappeared one day because I'd been joking around. I would really like one of these uh, convection cooktops. Well, the cheap ones start at around 18, 1900 US dollars. So, you know, that's a lot of money. Uh, well, Mr. Grebo found a guy down uh, in like central Oregon. It was a couple hour drive who was selling his brand new in the box, like, you know, plastic still around. I mean, brand new. I guess the wife didn't like the color or something. Um, $350. That's it. And so we got it. And then when we put it in here, it turns out you need 40 amp, right? Well, we didn't have anything that was 40 amp. Uh, the, the original stove was only 30 amps. And so it was like, uh-oh. And anybody that knows anything about anything knows that if you're going to try to rewire your, uh, uh, what's that called? Your circuit breaker box, you know, where your fuses go, that's, oh my God, so expensive. But what it was is, this place, because it's a, a mobile home, they technically, um, in fact, like, hold on. <laughs> because I live in a mobile home, uh, <laughs> my home has a title because it's considered a mobile home. So <laughs> my home has a title to it um but part part of that is it's wired in where it has a 50 amp uh circuit breaker hardwired into it so what mr grebo did was he got uh it's uh, uh it's probably a hundred foot cable that they use in uh like rvs that people use to plug their rvs in when they drive around you know you you stay at a place and they've got this uh, piece of wood coming up where you hook your elect elect electronics up to. So he got this 100-foot uh, portable RV plug-in extension cord. Uh, it's one of those real big ones like you find on, wash on dryers, you know, one of the big round ones. And so he <clears throat> plugged it in to our circuit breaker, which is outside. He ran it under the house drilled a little hole in the floor ran it up through the floor and then um his dad is a uh, journeyman level electrician so you know his dad knows what he's doing and he he helped him to make sure it was done right cut off the the cut the plug-in on the other side and hardwired it to the wiring that goes to this stove it's all above board it's all legal uh you know and and uh black taped it up and ran it and attached it on the house. So now this thing is hardwired in. We didn't have to destroy our circuit panel or fuse box, you know, and I've got this lovely, this model right here is like a $24, $2,500 model. So I've got this gorgeous $2,500 uh, stove hardwired in and got it for, 350 was the stove and the extension cord was 127. So yeah, 
happy. Okay, sorry, I got behind on the chat. Uh, sorry, guys. Let me see. <laughs> hey, holy moly, I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, let's see who else. I'm making split pea soup. House Hannibal, I saw. Chow's here. Hey, Jojo B, good to see you. Hey, Stephanie, 640, my very first live. I am probably fucking it up, but I'm trying. So Genitalia said hi, too. So Desiree. Okay, I think I got everybody. If I didn't say hi, I really am sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Janet, I see you. Janet Pirate, so. All right. Uh, we've got the onions. I'm sweating them down. Uh looks a tiny bit dry, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more oil. Uh, in general, when I'm cooking, uh, I don't use my extra virgin olive oil when cooking because the temperature kind of gets rid of any, you know, any of the benefits that you get out of extra virgin olive oil. So I'm not going to waste the money on extra virgin, virgin, virgin to uh, cook with it. So I use a more neutral oil. You know, you can use canola or you can just use regular olive oil. So, okay. So, <clears throat> those are the onions and the carrots. Um, I have some celery I need to use. So, once again, I usually put about a half a cup, um, or in this case, however much uh, celery that looks like it needs to get used up. Eh, this piece looks like it needs to get used. So, that should be enough. Yeah. So, and I've pre-washed all of my veggies, so I'm not going to foodie beauty it and throw them in with other people's cooties all over it. Uh, I do keep that to throw in. So, let's see. Let's see. Extra virgin is my new nickname for Chantal Genitalia. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Let's try that again without Fattinger in way envious of that kitchen. <laughs> uh, good night. Are you going, Kidney J? Let's see. No, I don't think so. Okay. So, getting this cut up. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to keep up. I'm slow. Let's see. Oh, thank you, MCM. So, yep, we get our... <clears throat> and I'll be sure to leave the uh, the recipe in the description. And you don't have to use, like I said, these are not exact measurements. <clears throat> um, you don't have to even use chicken broth if you don't want. You know, when it's really slim pickings, you can just use water. If you like your split pea soup a little bit on the, th the thicker side, you can use six cups of liquid, whether it be water or, you know, chicken broth, it's, you know, I use eight. I like mine. I just, I don't like it like a uh, wall paste where I could spackle my walls. So that's why I use a bit more, but to each his own. Um, I've brought up, don't throw the meat in on the front end because it just turns out to be flavorless rubber. It cooks everything out of it. And um, unless you're just going to put a ri ridiculous amount of meat, there, there's not going to be enough meat in there to actually uh, affect the flavor. Um, so you'll just have little flavorless hunks of rubber in the meat or in the soup if you add the meat on the front end. That's why I wait until later on. If you have a bone now, like a, a smoked ham hock bone, that's a different cup of tea. Um, but I don't use smoked ham hock bones in uh, split pea. I save that for ham hocks and beans. So <laughs> we have some uh, ham left though. Mr. Grebo got ham. They hand out a uh, honey baked, honey glazed, honey baked ham from his place of employment every year. They're such high quality, really good. So, <clears throat> oh, and if you hear random little humming and stuff, anybody doesn't know, I have Tourette's. Sometimes I tick. I've been really ticky lately, so there's been lots of humming and clearing of the throat and stuff lately. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, so 
that's about, you know, I'm going to save these to throw on as like, because you can cook them down, but this looks really pretty on the top when you're saving it. So the celery leaves, I'm going to set aside. And when I serve it up to Mr. Grebo, uh, he will have exactly negative three Fs to give about it looking pretty, but I like to try anyway. So I've got, I don't know, I'd say that's about, I don't know, half a cup to three quarters of a cup of celery I'm going to sweat down. Don't need to add celery, but I have celery to use up. Okay. Get that in there. All right. Let's see if anybody knew Desiree still. Hey, Goose Chuck, how's it going? So this is my very first live. So be gentle. It's my first time. <laughs> be nicer to me than my prom date. Just kidding. Okay, so we've got this. Um, okay. <clears throat> I want to try that thing where you see people do this, you know, where they flip it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. Oh, look at that. Oh, did you see that? Watch. Ha! <laughs> Eat your heart out, Gordon Ramsay. Here comes Great Grebo. So, okay, sweating that down. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of vegetables to go in, vegetable bits and bobs to go into my compost bucket. Uh, if you, anybody else have one of these? I used to use just like a, a, uh, a coffee, a coffee can. And it just looked terrible. So Mr. Grebo went out and got, it's got a charcoal filter and it can hold quite a bit. So I throw my compost bits in here. It works out really well. Uh, my buddy Sniveling Weasel, which you, if I think I've shown pictures of her before. She's the person I, I think she's been in a vlog Maybe, maybe not, but she's the person, Sniffling Weasel is the person that I can with. Uh, she has pigs, so I save a lot of my table scraps. Like, you know, when I have like, oh, I have some oatmeal that's expiring. You know, if I can't bake with it, you know, I uh, send it with her to feed the pigs. And her pigs taste delicious. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Goose Chuck. Okay. Hey, Angela Green. I see you. Uh, I'm trying to see if I miss saying hi to anyone. Like I said, if I missed you, I really am sorry. Uh, okay. I'm trying to look at chat. So uh, I was talking about Sean's Hall. So what's everybody think about Pete's? You know, Mr. Pete's, he's got the Holy Trinity. Uh you know, and I think Pete's said he's charging the least amount he can for his membership. So I think his is only like 99 cents. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in chat, but I'm pretty sure his is the 99 cents. But he's got a fair few. I think, you know, there's a lot who are former VI idiots in there who want to stick one to Chantal. And then I think there's just some other people that... uh yeah, there's, there's disgruntled VIBs in there. And then I think there's another group of people who genuinely just want to help Pete's, you know, get away from, you know, Miss Ham Planet and her toxicity. Pete's, Pete's has got his own set of issues. He said some heinous things. Uh, but uh, just for no other reason than just seeing him spite Chantal. Like, I want him to succeed. I want his YouTube channel to grow. I want him to get a bunch of subscribers and to make money off his memberships because, you know, that's, that's going to make Chantal so mad. I love that for her. Um, yeah, okay, Jarella says a buck 99, so maybe... Um, and it can... can uh, Somebody like Laura, Kidney J, or somebody go, can somebody go, hey, no justice, no peace, welcome, my very first live. Can somebody go on Playboard and let me know, you know, what Playboard says as far as uh, Pete's uh, 
income? Like, is he is he getting super chats and stuff? Because uh, Social Blade's not any good for that, but Playboard's doing okay. All right. So my Mirapois isn't sweating. Like I said, I still struggle to get the temperatures right. So I'm going to turn it up a scotch to get it sweating a bit more. Um, I have, I do have some chicken stock and stuff I need to use up. Let's see. Um, this is 32 ounces, which is a quart. Is it four cups in a quart? Four cups in a quart? I think it's four cups in a quart. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, four cups and a quart. So, um, and so I've got this low sodium one too. That's good until this one is best if used by October of 2022. So that needs to get used up. Oh, and this one's best if used by June of 2022. So I definitely got to use this up. <clears throat> Hey, Cat Shark. Welcome. Um, so I've got 232 ounces of chicken broth, which should be eight, eight cups, which is what I like. You can add more. You can add less. Um, and this, the, the eight cups of broth and or water is paired up with, uh, I use a pound of split peas, which is about two cups so okay I'm gonna turn my broth up I just put it on a low temperature <clears throat> so about that oh and I also need to sweat down <laughs> so once the mirepoix cooks down a little more I'll add some and and if you if you if you want your uh, split pea soup really not chunky you know so it's smoother you know you can just dice the veggies up s smaller you know or if you don't mind you can just leave them in bigger chunks it's all this is this is there's no science to this it's an art baking is a science like don't wing it with baking bad idea <clears throat> Let's see what chat says. A cup is eight ounces. Yes, thanks, Chow. So this is so 64 ounces. So for people in America, we use ounces and all that stuff. So the 64 ounces, which is half a gallon, is equal to eight cups. So, all right. So MCM says she likes hers chunky. You know, I like mine chunky also. Uh, I'm going to try to make it thin just because Mr. Or, or, you know, smoother because Mr. Grebo's not feeling good. And I think it's more of a head cold kind of thing. So I don't want him having to try to swallow stuff that's chunky and make his throat hurt. So I'm going to cut. So these uh, courgettes. I've had sitting there and they're just starting to get, I could make uh, zucchini bread out of them, but I still have, <laughs> this is from my buddy Snivel and Weasel's garden. <laughs> so I've got this, I need to make this. This is gonna go into some uh, zucchini bread. <laughs> Put that over here for now. So this little guy, so I'm going to chop him up small. <clears throat> four by four is 32. You can see the, the <laughs> some tweaker math, huh, Chow? <laughs> tequila and donuts, good. To oh, so there's somebody named Tequila and Donuts here. I didn't see. Hello. Thank you to all my wrenched people for saying hello. I have found out there's no way to tell when somebody new pops in. Still extremely nervous. So, all right. I don't have real good knife skills. It's it's a miracle I haven't chopped off an appendage. But, and uh, 
wash your hands, guys. And as far as vegetables go, man, when you get them from the store, wash them and wash them again. Uh, I have seen people do just, hmm. I've seen, I saw a guy one time, he took an apple and he stuffed it down his pants on the backside. And uh, <laughs> I think he just kind of rolled it along the crack just to get essence of weird guy all over the apple and then stuck it back. And he proceeded to do that with all the apples, all the Granny Smith apples. So maybe he had a problem with Granny Smith. I don't know. So <laughs> wash your vegetables and your fruit. Okay. So we've got the uh, courgette, the aubergine uh, to sweat down. Okay, I don't have a, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll stick it in with, uh, yeah, and drip water all over your stove. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I've got your zucchini in the carrot, celery, onion mixture, also known as miracle. And let's get this guy. So you can see, you get a nice, well, no, you can't see. You can't see anything. But if you could see, you could see you get a nice, you know, veggie base. And these are all vegetables. You know, like, they're not liquefying. It's not like a decomposing body that's been sitting there for a month and a half and is leaking through the atoms of the couch. No, but these are vegetables that um, I wouldn't necessarily serve up in a salad. You know, they're just, they don't look that presentable. They need to get used up. So soup is a really good way to use these things up. All right. Uh, sweat that bad guy down. Um, my stove is making crazy noises. So I'm going to use my big burner over here, turn that off. So uh, on the stove, this is my new-ish stove. So the burner over here, there's a big burner that's like this big. And then next to it right here is a little guy. And then next to that right here is uh, two, oh, I don't know, they... They're not eight inches. They're probably only six inches, but, you know, they would work well on an eight-inch pot. And then they've got these two lines to indicate that you can work them in tandem so you can actually lock and turn on these two burners to work together, you know. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so it's a little easier for you guys to see. I'm going to move. The one thing that's really irritating is, like, um, because we – to. So that stuff doesn't just get set on here. Uh, the, Mr. Grebo does commercial flooring. He's a journey, journeyman level tradesman. And so there's this stuff called white rock. It looks like glorified plastic, but if you saw the price, it's the stuff they put on walls and stuff in operating rooms. He does a lot of uh, work in hospitals. So, But this stuff is amazing. So he brought a piece home, and then I use some grippy, no slippy, matte stuff and I throw it down on here and then I set the white rock over it. So I have a nice worktop, you know, without stuff getting set on my cooktop. And uh, But the funny thing is, is it's pressure sensitive. So I'll be sitting there like this. Anybody that's ever seen me see, make coffee knows I sit here like this and uh, it'll turn it off and on, which is kind of funny. It wouldn't actually go on because if you turn these on and, and it senses there's no metal on it with which to heat it up, it turns itself off, which is great. So you can't accidentally turn this on and it won't accidentally burn your house down because it needs metal that is magnetic to interact with in order to get hot. And then uh, it's glass. And so the top does not get ridiculously hot. The only reason the cooktop even gets warm is heat from the metal pot that's heating up uh, transfers into the glass, but it has a, a hot indicator. So, okay, I've got that. Um, <laughs> got this cooking down. Can you hear? Can you hear it cooking down? So, all right, I got that. Let's see what everybody's saying. Let's see. 
anything. So we were talking about Chantal. Oh, thanks, Angela. Yeah, this, this, uh, I got this at a garage sale. Mr. Grebo found it. No, he found it at a farmer's market. And so I swear to God, my girls, they don't sit down this low like this. They actually sit where they should. It's just so everybody knows it's gravity. It's not just a good idea. It's a law, but no, uh, it should be tight up like this. It's cute. It's got the little frills. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is I don't like aprons that tie around your neck like that. I much prefer the ones that kind of go over both shoulders. Um, I have one that my aunt got me. It's great. So, <clears throat> But it's not pink, so there's a trade-off. All right, so we've got that cooking down. Let me check and see if I've got any other vegetables I need to use up. Uh, nope, lettuce. I've got Brussels sprouts, but no, those little two. Oh, so is this tomato? No, it's still good enough that I could use that in a salad or something. So I do have, um, I've got some cabbage in here that, it's not in a terrible, but make sure nothing smells. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to chop off a chunk of the cabbage because it's not in terrible shape, but it'd be good to start using it up. So I'll save a little bit. For Mr. Grebo, he likes to put it in salad, and then, yeah, the rest, yeah, so I'll get the cabbage chopped up. Put in, let's see, what's everybody saying? Okay, bye, Kidney J. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, if you're, if you just got here, this is my very, very first live stream so thanks thank you everybody that's here and not openly mocking me in chat i really appreciate it <clears throat> let's see i'll be back okay i'll be back says kidney j okay so let's add some cabbage too the only thing i could think of is i guess you wouldn't want to go over the top with adding cabbage because that could with the purple cabbage, I guess that could affect the color. Um, so the purple mixed with the green could potentially make it look like horrible gray color, something that belongs in a, a, a 19th century workhouse in London kind of color for gruel, but I'm not adding a ton. <clears throat> this leaves enough for Mr. Grebo to have cabbage on his salad tomorrow. I personally don't think Mr. I'll be surprised if he can go to work. Um, all right. So let's see. We were talking about Pete. Pita. P. 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 Oh, I should go get my uh, Chantal sunglasses and wear those. <laughs> okay. Got these chopped up. But yeah, Pete's, he's getting, he's got the Holy Trinity. He's getting her ex VIBs over there, you know, they're watching him and supporting him to spite her. And she acts like it's no big deal. And Pete says, Oh, it's no big deal. But personally, I think there's a fight brewing. Uh, is Goose Chuck still here? Let's see. Is it, do you guys all agree? Like, hopefully, yeah, is Goose Chuck still here? Hopefully. Um, I just, I honestly think, because I know that she, she keeps pretty good track of what P's doing. Um, but I think that there is a, uh, a fight brewing. I think that there's animosity, whether Chantal admits it or not. Uh, and she acts like it's no big deal. The shade she throws to Pete, uh, you know, and regardless of, it's like, well, so here, here's the thing where salad flat out was like, you know, she's not going to do this anymore. She's not going to do that anymore. And I think on some level, salad realized it's like Chantal explained, like, if you don't let me do these things as far as eating on camera, you know, the mukbangs, 
and stuff like that, my channel is going to die. And that's, that's income. Uh, I'm leaning towards when Chantal, so I'm going to add the cabbage in with, uh, the onions and the stuff. And you can see like the onions are starting to get nice and clear. So that's a good start. Uh, we add the cabbage in. So, yeah, and hopefully I didn't make anybody. So bottom line is, guys, this is the Internet. These are, this is strangers on the Internet. And the fact that I'm not a huge fan of Pete's, you know, it's no reason for anybody to fight. Because I know there's some people that really support Pete's and they want to see him do well. And that's cool. You know, I, I personally think Pete's is just, is he as terrible as Chantal? No. Um, I just think he's a different flavor of terrible, but no, I, I never actively wish for somebody to completely destroy their lives, you know, so, and just out of spite, I hope Pete starts doing really well, I hope his channel takes off, I hope he gets every subscriber that left Chantal's champ, oh, dang it, so, oops, my counter's clean, so this is legal, okay, get this back in there, so, yeah, I just, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't ever want to have a disagreement with one of my internet friends just because I feel, you know, a certain way about somebody we watch, mutual, mutual uh, shared interest. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Yes, the, it actually smells really good. Like, does anybody else in here, like, really enjoy the smell of cooking vegetables? Hey, Carla, I see you. Um, also, I hope that I haven't completely killed my channel because I am on a live stream and everybody can see what a train wreck I am, so they're never going to watch my daily vlogs. <laughs> okay, so we've got this cooking down. Um, oh, I got a piece of... Got a piece of onion or... No, it looks like a piece of celery that fell in. Okay, I'm going to bring my water or water broth, whatever you want to use. I'm going to bring that up. I've got it set uh, on high. I want to get it to boil so I can add the peas and then I'll, uh, I'll, you know, bring it down. So, and like I said, about two cups of peas, a pound of peas is how it works. So we usually get them bulk, but they had them on sale and these cute little, and this was a hot minute ago. Uh, so they had them on sale and these cute little one pound packs. I don't like all the extra plastic and stuff, but so, um, oh, I got to rinse these. Yeah. Don't, don't just throw them in. You want to make sure you got everything all rinsed and stuff. Cause there can be dirt, dust, rocks, all kinds of stuff that can end up in your, uh, so, yeah, let's see, exactly, Angela Green, we can agree to disagree, you know, um, okay, rinse in the piece, so, yeah, Pete's, I think Pete's, there's a lot of people out of spite that are going to Pete's channel, which is great. Um, I, I don't think Chantal's going to have any large discussion with Pete's. I think when she finally decides like she's done and she's quote unquote moving out, that she's just going to do it. Uh, she's not dumb. Like she knows the place is in Pete's name. So she's not just going to get a hold of him and be like, we're done. Get out. Like, no, it's it his name is on the place. But she could I I can see Chantal if she finds a place to um that she can move into. Um, I can see her just telling Pete's, oh by the way, uh I'm not gonna help with rent. Uh what what I really wish would happen, it would be so great if Pete's changed the locks and got a roommate and just told her. Hey, we're done. Okay, I've made a complete mess with the peas, but okay, they're rinsed. <laughs> so I gotta 
I got to do it this way. It's very hard because nobody can see what I'm doing. Let me see if... Um, is that a little better with the overhead lights? Yeah, she, holy moly says she'll screw him over. She will. She'll figure out some way to screw him over. He'll get no notice. Let's see, Whimsical, I think you're right about them fighting. You love how he perks up in his chat, disses her. Yeah, so I think uh, regardless whether Pete admits it or not, I think he knows that him and Chantal are not necessarily simpatical at this point. You know, she'll, I don't think she's ever going to completely go off on Pete simply because if he decided to throw her under the bus, Lordy, but, um, oops, but, okay. <laughs> I've made a huge mess. So I'm, I'm bringing that noise you hear is like <laughs> me accidentally turning the stove off and on and I've accidentally turned. So that's the other thing. If you have water sitting on the stove like that, the little drops of water, if it moves or anything, will turn it off and on. That's the one weird thing. <clears throat> so um, I'd be curious to see, you know, how much Pete's is actually making because he's got quite a few more subscribers and stuff so if if he were smart he would be looking for a smaller place you know and just up and be done with it uh let's see is princess Alyssa here let's see hey princess Alyssa thank you welcome to my first live stream hello and thank you um, I'm making split pea soup. So I've brought it. So in the future, I, I think I need to set the camera higher so you can better see what I'm doing. Brought the peas to a boil. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it to like a, eh, uh, about halfway. So, and then, and does anybody know the trick? Like if you don't want a pot to boil over, and it has to do with surface tension of molecules and stuff. But yeah, if you set a wood spoon over the top, it, it can stop it from doing that boil over and getting all over your stove, FYI. I got that. Let's see. I should probably check my mirepoix that also has the zucchini. And the... Okay. Yeah, so I got water all over this, and I accidentally tr keep turning my burners off. Okay, there we go. Keep cooking down the vegetables. They're, they're, they would be, they, at this point, they count as sweated down. You know, they're soft, but I want them completely cooked down. So, um, all right, let's see. I'm trying to use, and it is for anybody that knows my... Uh, I'm having problems with my phone. So yesterday I had an absolutely amazing, like I put so much effort into it. It was probably the most edited video. I had jokes in there. I mean, I really went all out and I had about time it was all said and done. I had about 53 seconds recorded and then I lost the entire thing. And it was, it was devastating. Like all I could think was, well, I never want to do that again. Uh, so, okay, we were talking about Chantal. So I think there is a fight brewing between Chantal and Pete, you know, whether he wants to admit it or not. I think she is jealous. Uh, I, did anybody, I'm sure everybody saw her little, uh, her little community post to the, uh, to the unholy Trinity trying to get them back. Uh, I hope. I really, really hope that they do not go back. Uh, I would be highly disappointed. So I have a little bit of an onion left. I'm going to put up and a little bit of the carrots and because the, these are still good. And this little bit of cabbage that I didn't use up. Uh, Mr. Grebo to make salad. Mm, trying to see if there's anything else in here that looks like it needs to get used up. No, I think everything's looking okay. Okay. <clears throat> so there is a fight brewing. And then as far as Chantal and that, uh, 
I should have been, this was real spur of the moment, so I didn't have any talking points prepared. But uh, Chantal, some of the stuff she's saying on those live streams, like was it yesterday or the day before yesterday where she went back to doing the mukbangs? I mean, she had an entire tray of uh, that that bar barbecue set in front of her, and that was a family-sized platter. That that was the kind of thing that you're like, hey, I'm going to go to my cousin's place or having a barbecue. I need something to bring. And they put together this entire family-sized platter of food. Um, and then Chantal, like, she kept saying fresh and creamy. Like, yeah, she's trolling at this point. Like, she's using those words on purpose, you know, overly using them, you know, just trying to kind of troll like haha I could be part of the joke but realistically when you listen to her speak there are quite a few times where she says fresh or creamy that she's not trolling it's just that her her adjectives um are just so limited that fresh and creamy are like two of the ones that she uses and for somebody that claims they're a foodie that's that's no not a foodie. Like we all know this. I'm 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 arguing, you know, a ridiculous point. She's not a foodie at all. So she's purposely making. She's purpose. Words, they're hard. She's purposefully saying fresh and creamy much more. Uh, and I think she's figured out that it's a way to mask the fact that she overuses those words because she doesn't have the language she needs to adequately describe the things. Uh, when she pulled out that, uh, the bread for the barbecue, she's like, oh, it's so fresh. Ooh, it's so fresh. That didn't look like fresh bread to me at all. It looked like some prepackaged bread that they threw in. Like, it'd be like if you went to like ShopRite or Safeway or, you know, Piggly Wiggly or something like that and ordered a barbecue platter and to make it a little more uh, filled out, one of the guys in the deli ran over to the bakery section and grabbed, you know, uh, some bread to throw in with it. So it was the equivalent of, you know, my opinion, running over and grabbing, you know, some prepackaged bread because it, it had like two or three different well, about two different kinds of uh, labeling on it. So that doesn't scream fresh. That screams, this is what we had available in our uh, bakery section. Not fresh, not homemade, my opinion. Uh, let's see what chat is saying. I want to stay up on it. Hey, Carla. Good to see you. Pete Snow's. What true? What's truly going on? And this marriage scam. I think that's why he's not panicking right now. I agree. I think Pete knows what's going on. Uh, and it was very telling. He said, "Oh, when she gets home, we'll make some decisions about what's going on." So you know, uh, is that smart of Pete's? Because Chantal, you know, she can change her mind at the drop of a dime. Hello, natural ginger. I'm sorry I didn't say hello sooner. Oh, thank you. Yes, I love this. Uh, apron, I'm trying to see. So for you guys, like it might only seem like a split second between like when I read something in chat and I speak, like it might seem like it's going, you know, swimmingly well. But in my mind, it's like <laughs> 10 minutes between when I read something and I speak. I feel like I'm moving in slow motion and you guys are just like, oh, so bored. This is so bad. Uh, and thank you, Carla, for the first live. Woohoo! So, yeah, I think Pete's, I think Pete's is part of the conversation, and that's why he's not worrying. But I would counter with his, he might want to be, oh, I guess I can do this. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, so you see that? This has all been completely scrubbed. Like, that is as clean as this thing gets. Um, I don't think the former owner, I don't think... Cooking was her forte. So, yeah, there's a lot of, like, scorch marks and burned. And, like, and the way that that is, it almost looked like there was an actual fire. So, I don't know. And then, like, this up here, you can see this. Um, this is all scrub clean. So, you can see the finish. The original finish is on here. But this down here is, like, damaged to the, uh, 
like I guess you could say the shellac coat. And so it no longer reflects light. So even though it's clean, it just, and it's from people grabbing it and opening and closing it. But yeah, it's, um, so the, a lot of the kitchen is going to need to be resurfaced. Uh, I've already showed you the, <laughs> the ceiling. I screwed up and made a clean spot and now I got to clean the whole thing. So, okay. I got the peas. They're good and boiled to get the peas along the sift path. So I'm going to put the lid on them and turn them down to like oh, low setting, keep them warm, keep them absorbing. Um, I'll move this over. In fact, I'll move so you can see better. I'll move that and then go like this so the water stays in it. And yeah, you can see my, okay, I'm going to try it again. You ready? <laughs> so yeah, it's good and sweated down. It's looking good. But I just keep cooking it down for a little bit longer, and then I'll throw it all in. Um, oh, you can see a lot more on my kitchen than I thought. All right, let's see what's going on. Yes, from years of use. It's just this place is. And the owner that I bought this from, she was only the second owner. So when this place, this place was constructed or nailed together because it's a double wide uh, in the 70s. And so the the former owner, she said she'd lived here, was it like 22, 23 years? So she got this place in the late 90s and she got it from the original owners. So, you know, and the original owners, they were non-smokers and stuff like that, which was really nice. And then the former owner here, she was a non-smoker and stuff like that. Um, and the beauty is, is they've got it set up that there's a ramp. There's like a walk-in handicap tub and there's a ramp. Her husband was disabled and stuff. So yeah, there's not a ton of stairs. Um, most of the house, in fact, the entire place is done in vinyl flooring, except for our bedroom. We had to put new carpet in there. So that's the only place that has carpet and it's real nice. Uh, yeah, the walk-in tub. Yeah, it's a couple decades old, but so it's not the most modern color. It's great. I love it. You know, and I, I looked at the cost of getting new walk-in tubs. Good God, to get the floor reinforced and stuff. You're looking at, um, man, that, that does look bad. You're looking at, you know, a lot of money. So, all right, I'm trying to get this back down to, so you can see. As you can see, my setup is not professional at all. All right. I've got, because I want you to be able to see the counter. Let's see. Um, okay. All right. So we've got this cooking down. I suppose I could, uh, maybe I should try to make some kind of, hmm. I think cornbread goes with cornbread goes with uh, split pea. Yeah, I guess I'll make some cornbread on the side. So I've got this like on a, a low. The peas are in there. Oh, I should add some a uh, hmm, little bit of salt. I don't add a ton of salt just because the broth, you know, and everything. And I'm a firm believer that people can uh, salt their own stuff. I hate overly salted food. A little bit of pepper. And I know you shouldn't put your spices directly over um, whatever you're cooking because then the moisture gets up in there. So, you know, take take the spices out, put in your hand and add it that way or a teaspoon, tablespoon. If you do it directly over, the, the, the hot water is going to get up in there and it's not good for the spices and the longevity of the flavor. So, all right, let me see if I can remember how to do cornbread. So I'm going to look and look at the comments and then... Uh, Oh, I need to finish up today's vlog, too. So, <laughs> um, so what's today? Day 11 of um, Vlogmas? So, I'll do it with you guys. Um, actually, I'll do it with chat. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn it around.
finish up Vlogmas. So, uh, video. How do I flip it around? There we go. So, all right. Vlogmas day 11 is over. Everybody wave goodbye. Okay, everybody say goodbye in chat so I can uh, put that. In fact, I'll record that instead. So everybody say goodbye in chat. I know this is stupid, but everybody type goodbye. There we go, Stephanie. Carla, bye, bye. So, okay. All right, guys, chat says goodbye. Vlogmas day 11 is over. Okay, um, I need to add that in. I'll do that in a minute because that's a whole nother thing. Okay, so um, I'll put the lid on this. Still sweating down the veggies. Uh, now I have to remember off the top of my head how to make cornbread. Get a, get a container. So I am over at my dishwasher. Don't use the dishwasher for washing dishes. I use it for storing things in. Um, <laughs> apparently, that's a very Asian thing to do. I don't know. Uh, I don't keep up on things like that. So, um, but yeah, I'm doing uh, what I did and what everybody that lived where I was did when I was a kid. So, okay. Uh, cornbread, I need one cup, and yeah, I, I keep, so Mr. Grebo found these um, in a secondhand store. They're really nice. We've got, let's see, so I keep my sugar, my rice, and my flour in these. So this one actually has uh, rice in it. So... For cornbread, uh, I know it has two-thirds two cup, God, I hope I'm doing this right off the top of my head, two-thirds cup sugar, so, and you want them leveled, because baking might be an art, but, or cooking might be an art, but baking is a science, so, okay, so we've got one cup That's one, one third. So I need two thirds a cup. Oh, I hope I'm remembering this right. Should I break down and look at the recipe? I probably should. So two thirds cup sugar. Um, okay. I know it's a cup of flour. And yes, these are cheap dollar store plastic. Oh. Okay. Yes, you can sh sift your flour and stuff, because if you just scoop it in, you know, you, it gets packed in and you're not necessarily getting exactly a cup, you know, so normally I try to sift, so I'm getting my measurements right, but I'm going to live on the edge here and just scoop it, so one cup flour, I have a whole video taped <laughs> that I was going to make a one minute video on my YouTube channel, but eh, so cup flour, two thirds cup Sugar, I am over here digging for my cornmeal. Oh, I think I need baking. Is it soda or flour? Baking. One of those baking. The baking baking powder, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Um, and I know there's an egg that's needed. Um, <laughs> what else? I know that there's some milk. So we don't actually keep milk in the house. We keep... Uh, uh, evaporated milk, and then we just add water to it. But I also have uh, half and half too, because I like half and half in my tea. So I'm trying to see which one's open and needs to be used. Um, if if the half and half's open, we'll use that. Because uh, um, yeah, this wasn't very well thought out. Sorry, guys. Um, Hmm. Yeah, well, this is open, so I don't want to be open as well. So, all right. 
cup of flour, two thirds cup sugar. I should be paying better attention to chat. Let's see. Yes, salt, baking powder. Yes, Angela. Let's see. Vlogmas baking. Okay. And then a cup of, oh, and because I have dipped this in my flour, I don't want to just dip this directly into my baking, into my uh, cornmeal. It's bad, bad practice. So using a fresh clean. Okay. Cup. And then I just don't want to get, I'm pretty, I try to be really careful with my ingredients because God, with the cost of groceries nowadays, just can't let anything go to waste. Okay. Cup. Okay. So cup of flour, cup of cornmeal, two thirds cup of sugar. Three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Yeah, it's the baking powder. I use not baking soda. So uh, three teaspoons is one tablespoon, but it's easier for me to remember if I just keep it all in the same measurement. So three and a half teaspoons. Or if you want to, you know, get crazy, a tablespoon and half a teaspoon. You know, whatever floats your boat. No judgment here. We'll get back to talking about the ham planet and pizza in a second. Okay, so there's three teaspoons and half a teaspoon. <clears throat> I know there's salt. I want to say it's like half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Was that half a teaspoon? Yeah, that looked right. So half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I'm, I'm lining all the stuff I've used up <laughs> against the back wall so I don't screw it up. Uh, where is salt? Okay. 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 I know. I'm trying, guys. Oh, it doesn't quite fit in here. So, like this. It seems like, did I need to put butter in this? I don't think so. I think that, help me out, Angela. I'm pretty sure the, that the, the milk will, let's see. Yeah. Catch up 15 bucks. So the, the prices, there are some things like, so I get these, uh, they're, they're drink mixes. I throw them in with water because I can't be bothered to drink water. I hate it. Uh, yeah, and they've got aspartame and super not healthy for you. But, you know, they have been a buck, a buck 58 forever. Uh, they are now 238. So, I mean, it's going on like by a 50 cent raise for just, it's crazy. And this stuff's old stock too. So, okay, I need to stop talking for a second. Ah, salt, baking powder, got the sugar, cornmeal, flour. I know one egg. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Carla, prices are just unreal. It's just crazy. Um, and I, I use, um, like the kind of ketchup we had when we were kids. Well. <laughs> I'm 39 and holding, but you know, without the sugar, the, the no sugar added ketchup, I much prefer it. And it tastes so much better, but God, it's so expensive. They, they charge you more money for not having sugar and things. Um, the eggs, uh, how much milk? Is it a third cup of milk? Damn it. Um, <clears throat> Does anybody know? I think a third of a cup. So this, like I said, this is, I use evaporated milk and we add water to it. Okay, this is full strength. So let me go get a third of a cup. I think it's, no, it's two thirds cup sugar. Fuck. Sorry for swearing. Um... <laughs> Trying to remember. I don't suppose anybody in here remembers <laughs> how much water. 
okay, I'm just going to pull up a random recipe on the internet, I guess, and just see like the general amount added in there. And maybe that'll jog my memory. Cause I, I can't think third of a cup. Does that sound right? Desiree? It's like, uh, um, for some reason, two thirds cup sugar, a third of a cup milk, right? Um, so let's see. Okay. I'm just going to pull up a recipe of third. Sorry. I'm just, why aren't they showing me any? Um, it's not showing me any recipes for cornbread. Um, oh no, I just dropped my, I just dropped my chapstick in the sink. Awesome. Um, I don't know. Should I just do a third of a cup and call it good? Cause I can't, why can I find? Um, I can't find, you know what? I'm just ready to do like a dump bread because I cannot find, I guess I'll just put in a third of a cup and mix it and see if that looks right. Cause does it seem like anything else should be dumped in there guys? I know I keep saying guys, I'm starting to sound like Chantal. What do you think guys? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. I'm going to go with a third of a cup and then I'll mix it up. It seems like there should be oil in it too. Oh man. Now I'm just getting confused. Okay. I'm going to have to, sorry guys. Like I need to pull up an actual, cause I think I'm overthinking it. And so the problem is, is now I've confused myself. So let me go. I'll put corn. I'll just pull up a recipe corn bread recipe and just whatever the first recipe says I just need to see if there's uh what they say if they add oil no I just I think I'm overthinking it I think I'm supposed to put in a third of a cup of uh um of oil well this one says a cup of milk so okay that sounds so Okay, I need to stop talking for a minute and think. I've got two-thirds cup sugar. I've got a cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal. I've got two-thirds of that. I've got an egg, a cup of milk. And I know that there's some, uh, you either put a neutral oil or butter in it. I like butter. And it seems like the oils and stuff and the sugars were, so I'm going to go with a third of a cup. If it's wrong, it's wrong. So <laughs> cup of milk, like I said, this is not diluted um, evaporated milk, so I need to add a little water. So, okay. I'm sorry that took so long. Cup of milk, and I need two-thirds of a cup of melted butter. Please forgive me that that took so long. Oh, I probably lost. Yeah. <laughs> like eight people left chat while I was sitting here. Angela says half a cup. I'm going to go with a third of a cup of the oil just because that's what sticks in my mind. But, okay. Let me find, and it's salted butter. I suppose I could use unsalted because it's like, what, an eighth of a teaspoon of butter per uh, <laughs> stick of butter. Where's, uh? I know I've got butter in here somewhere. Did I throw butter in the... Oh, I've got some smoked salmon here, too. I wish you guys could be here. I, we could all hang out, smack top, and eat some... Uh... Did the butter get thrown in the freezer? Yeah. So, okay. Let me pull... So, I need a third of a cup of butter... Yeah, I'm sorry. I completely went off the rails there, guys. I My deepest apologies. This is probably the worst live stream ever. Let's see. Adding corn to yours. Yeah, right? I like that, too. Mr. Grebo, he likes his stuff smooth. Like his um, uh, 
cranberry sauce. He likes smooth. He doesn't like chunky. So he doesn't like. So I think the only thing I need to add now is I've, I've added a cup of milk. I added three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I added a third of a cup of salt. I added a cup of corn meal. I added a cup. Oh my God. So I was looking everywhere for butter. It's because the, the, the box they were in got thrashed and I had pulled them out. That's why I couldn't find my older boxes. Oh my God. So awesome. I just opened up a two pound thing of butter that didn't need open. So um, a third cup butter. Yes, I'm cutting directly on the counter, but it's with the butter knife. And this counter is thrashed. So, okay, third cup. Um, it needs to be melted. So I'm going to throw this. Uh, and this, I should get rid of this measuring cup. It has a hole in the bottom. And I know this because I've melted butter in it before and it leaked third of a cup butter all over my microwave. It was awesome. Like one of my top five favorite things to do. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. I need to stir our veggie sludge and then add that in. So, oh, there's my coffee. Huh, I was looking everywhere for it. Well, I guess I can heat up my coffee and uh, melt my butter. I was looking everywhere too. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry if I'm not paying more attention to chat. I am so nervous. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. No, I'm not going to push it. I can't. I don't want to. So the, the, um, the olive or the onions have gotten really nice and clear. Uh, hey, tastes good. All right, let's check. Oh my God, the veggies taste good. Um, <clears throat> okay, I've got my coffee. Okay. This is going to be backwards. It's shada fa ka with, uh, yeah, courtesy of Laura is okay because we have the same weird sense of humor. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. See who's still here. Desiree's still here. Stephanie's here. Uh, Angela, Laura, our lady of perpetual poutine. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what I need to do. We need to get editing elf here or maybe even Srind. He can, uh, do cooking with Srind. Okay. Um, natural ginger still here. Hey guys. So, okay. Um, this I used to stir vegetables and I've just put it in my coffee. Ha. Close enough. Mm. Coffee. Okay. Oh, so my microwave is on top <laughs> of the fridge and I can't reach. So when stuff spins around to the back, I can't reach it. So I just simply let it cook a little longer <laughs> so I can reach it. All right. Let's see how the butter's looking. This is what I used um, <laughs> to melt the butter. All right, got a wing and a prayer. So the butter is melted. I got an egg, I got a cup of milk. And so, okay, fingers crossed, Angela. I probably should have taken Angela's recommendations, but I insisted on a third of a cup of butter because this I'm doing it from memory and my memory is crap. So I do need to get, uh, oh, so. <laughs> You don't ever want to waste ingredients, so spatula, spatula, spatula. <clears throat> I need to stir this stuff together. Should I have left it sitting like that? Probably not. I probably, like, ruined it, and it's not going to turn out, but... So, okay. <clears throat> oh, and I'm using a metal... <laughs> metal on metal, so it's good and clangy and loud. 
because if me talking hasn't blown out your eardrums, let me try a little harder. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, definitely coffee break. All right, then. So uh, I think regardless of what Pita thinks, Chantal doesn't care about anybody but herself. And so could very quickly find himself without a place to live or uh, without rent paid, I should say. Um, I need to get some more wood spoons. <laughs> this one is just destroyed. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm saving. I'm saving to buy these things slowly but surely. Life is expensive. Okay, so stir it up. Um, let's get, and this what are what are you what are you making, Griba? You ask. I am making some cornbread to go with my homemade split pea soup. And split pea soup is just <laughs> my way of using up vegetables that need to be used up. Um, yeah, I just ate some of the raw cornmeal dough. Is that a good idea in the United States? No, because our eggs are not safe unless they're cooked. Uh, but I've made it today's many number of years without dying from that. So, oh, I got a piece of cabbage in my broth. Uh, it's not going to matter in the long run, but right now while I'm cooking, I don't like how that looks because it make for, it tells my brain like, oh, you've burnt it, and there's some, uh, you know, black from the bottom in the pan, and I don't want that. So the peas are nice and softened up. Um <laughs> I have the bull sitting right here, which means you guys haven't seen anything. Did my mother have any children that lived? Apparently not. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Let me get, uh, I'm putting the bull out of the way. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay. Um, let's see what's chat saying besides telling me I'm a moron. Um, is that the cosmic stock pot? I don't know what a cosmic stock pot is, but no. Do you have snow days where you are, Grebo? Um, no, there's, well, occasionally they'll get snow days, but not like, um, like I'm from Alaska and like when you're going to school, especially up in the interior, nothing got shut down. It had to get 53 degrees below zero. Fahrenheit. Oh, and fun fact for people that don't know, Fahrenheit uh, and Celsius centigrade meet up at some point. So at 40 below zero, it's the same temperature whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. 40 below is 40 below. Um, and then Fahrenheit quickly outpaces. But uh, it has to be 53 degrees below zero Fahrenheit for them to close down school. And I can remember so many times, like you don't want to go to school, but it's only 51 degrees below zero. <laughs> Fun, true story. So uh, in, in the Pacific Northwest, whether it's uh, Washington uh, or Oregon, you know, the, the Portland, Oregon area that occasionally, and it's not so much the, it's not because the weather's so terrible, but just because, you know, especially where I live, we're along the Columbia River. And so the weather on the is is uh, influenced by the Columbia River. It's such a large river that, you know, it helps with melting. So uh, not often, but yeah, there, there, there are snow days occasionally. And the, the big thing is, is, is it, it snows and then it warms up and then it freezes at night and everything turns into a sheet of glass. It's super dangerous. So it's like uh, bumper cars on I-5. So, all right. So um, I'm going to add, <coughs> I'll turn my burner off. I'm going to add my veggie mix in with and I'll bring it up to boil again and I might even have to add some more liquid to it the vegetables have lots of liquid in them but I'm just trying to think if I forgot to add anything like I said I uh super nervous because this is live I'm doing it off the top of my head did I mention I'm nervous and so 
Oh, I have to preheat the oven too. So pre for for your cornbread, we'll call it uh, wingnut cornbread. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I turned mine up to 425, so that way, um, when I open the door and let a bunch of heat out, and I put first put the bread in, it's I don't have to worry about it. The burner's coming on. So preheat your oven because you're going to cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Can you see what I'm doing? No, but trust me. Um, so stir. Yeah, that 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 helped. <laughs> that didn't help. Uh, so we're stirring, and then what I'm going to do is um, here. I'll take a picture and then hold it up. If my phone works, like I said, I've been having so many problems. So here's kind of, you know, there's some, I'll put the spoon in to gauge. So you can see there's liquid in it. Oh, apparently the flash is on too. How do I turn that off? No, turn it off. So, okay, sorry. My nose keeps itching and not in the Chantal kind of way. I've not been playing in the snow. Okay, so can you see? How much liquid is in there? Let me take one more photo with the thing turned off. So you can see, um, and more water will come out of the vegetables. So, yeah. So if you want, if you want it to be a little thinner, if some people have little food blenders, you can blend it up. Um, like I said, this is my way of, uh, so I'm going to turn this on. Uh, on medium, a good solid medium. First, I'm going to turn it to a medium high because I want to get it almost boiling. I want it to boil, and then I'll turn it down and just kind of let it simmer. So we've got that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is swap out. Uh, whatever these are called, uh, you know, the, yeah, it's, it's tugging around my neck, and I don't like it. So, and you can still hear me because I have... So everybody remind me if I decide I need to use the, oh, shoot, I tippy-toed in the room and Mr. Grebo's in here sleeping. Crap. Be very quiet. Uh-oh. That wasn't very smart. Okay. I'm grabbing my, grabbing my, okay. So uh, my point is, if I have to use the restroom, I don't need everybody hearing me wee. So <laughs> remind me to leave my microphone behind. Okay. Okay. So this one goes over. Yeah, I like these kind. But this one isn't pink and frilly like the other one, so I'm bummed. <laughs> my aunt got this for me. All right. Uh, let's see. Where am I? <clears throat> so I'm going to finish stirring up. The because I've let the batter rest. Are you supposed to let cornbread batter rest? I don't know. Uh, you know, but and was it thoroughly mixed up when I let it rest? No, no, not at all. Uh, the, my grandmother's rolling in her grave, just super disappointed in my inability to follow the most basic of instructions. But so, okay, I got that. So, okay, I've got the cornbread good and mixed up. Okay, mental, let's see, I got baking powder, I got salt, I got this, I got it. Okay, I think I put everything in it. I will leave a recipe <laughs> in the description. <laughs> I don't even know if it's correct, but I will leave a recipe for what I did in this live stream. And God willing, <laughs> nobody dies of food poisoning. So, okay. Uh, oven's preheating. I need a, a nine inch pan greased. Um, okay. Nine inch pan. Oh, I need to upload my, uh, let me upload my video real quick. Sorry guys. So you can't see most of what I'm doing. It's just a lot of noise off screen. I know. I know. Well, it's called bad baking. So <laughs> shouldn't be shocked. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. Okay, it's the split pea is good and 
boiling, so I am turning it down. I'm not turning the overhead fan on, the exhaust fan, just because you wouldn't be able to hear anything. Um, let's see. I need to add... I need to upload today's... Oh, oh yeah, and that's how... I know the oven's on is the smoke alarm always goes off. You can keep saying not a smoke. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's a heat thing. I better pull the other one down. Mr. Grebo hates that. It's a heat thing, though. These things are real sensitive. So any change in temperature, and they go off. Um, and, but they're expensive, so yeah. So sorry. Um, okay. Let me add, oh wait, no, why is, um, I don't want, no, no, okay, okay, I need to add that clip, let me add a clip, <clears throat> okay, let's see if it's turned up. Oh. All right, guys, chat says goodbye, Vlogmas day 11 is over. Right, okay, uh, okay, we're uploading Vlogmas, so I, I've added that, that's okay, I don't know how this looks, I haven't actually watched it, so uh, today is Vlogmas, Vlogmas, day 11, right? Well, today went better than yesterday, because I didn't lose the entire thing, I'll hashtag shorts, and then what's the other one? Vlogmas, right? Vlog. Must. All right, day 11. Today is the 11th, right? All right. So, okay, we're uploading it. Okay. <clears throat> Got the split pea. Okay, it's still kind of boiling. I don't want it to boil, boil. Um, I'm turning it down so it's like low. Not even medium low, just low, because I want it to just, I, it's a nine by nine pan. Yeah, it looks rough. I swear it's clean. Uh, I am saving though. I am saving to buy new things. So, okay. And I don't use paper towels very often, but I do when I'm greasing things. Oh, and I haven't checked chat forever. Oh, thanks, uh, whimsical Minzy. Yeah, yesterday I, I was really upset that entire vlog, and I really did. I I worked so hard, and I lost the whole thing. I was like, I literally sat in the bathroom crying. I was so upset. Uh, yeah, Mr. Grebo, he, he is lucky because he's been so grumpy, and I, sh I don't have to make him food, but I am. because uh, Exactly, it's a well-loved pan. <laughs> this pan is... Loved to death, so. Okay, I mean, come on, I live in a double wide. How much money could I possibly have? Not a lot. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with living in a double wide. I'm sure there's people with amazing jobs that choose to live in a double wide. I chose to live in a double wide. And the lot rent we pay here, so much cheaper than the rent. The apartment I was living in was originally like $525 when I moved in lived there for seven years and by the time I moved out it had more than doubled and that was in the last three years it was just ridiculous uh, so okay it's good and greased sorry I pulled my foot out from under me uh, and I know I keep getting up and sitting down and I'm wiggly uh, I've, I've got my back spine problems I've got titanium rods in it and so uh, I can't hold still or stay in one position too long. It hurts. Mm. Okay, we've got this. Uh, uh, this is the oven's preheated. Be sure to turn it off of preheat. And it's at 400. So like I said, I preheat mine to 425. And then uh, I down it to 400. So I think this is stirred enough. Um so get this in the pan. This is one of the few things that I don't cook at 350 degrees. <laughs> okay, we were going to talk about Pete's and Chantal, too, and I got totally sidetracked. Sorry. Hmm. 
Well, it is called questionable cooking. So, oh my God. So not only do we have bad baking, we also got questionable cooking in this episode. Yes. And we're talking about Chantal. That's a hat trick for the win. Hmm. I feel like I might have scared a couple people off because I said I wasn't a big fan of Pete's. You know, like I wasn't trying to smack talk him. I just, yeah, not a fan. But if I had to choose between Pete's and Chantal, Pete's hand down. I swear, if if Pete's had a GoFundMe and he was going to use it to get his own place to help fund the down payment, I would probably donate. <laughs> The entertainment value of Chinny finally getting the, uh, the dealing with the repercussions of her continued bad choices. I'm trying, I keep wanting to set this down here and uh, bad idea because it's in front of the camera. I need to get like some kind of tripod so it sets up. I don't know. Like I said, this was not thought out well. Uh, okay. And this might be disgusting, but I like the taste of uh, cornbread batter with raw eggs. I'm probably going to die. You know. Oh, that does taste good. I think, Angela, I think we did it right. The third cup butter and the cup of milk, milk-like product. Mmm, tastes good. Mm. Probably could get away with less sugar, but... Oh, my God, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. I don't like to, don't want to leave a little bit up on the side because then it can burn it. So, let's see. Oh, that needs to go back in the fridge. So, keep stirring your split pea. And you, you'd want your exhaust fan on. I can't, like I said, because I'm filming. Um... Okay, let's see what chat's saying. Oh, hey, Radipus. Yeah, Pete better get a job because they might be cool, simpatico right now, but she will leave him high and dry. Oh, hey, spooky muse. Yeah, not of Pete's fan. He, Pete's is just a different flavor of terrible, you know, and, um, and just he's, yeah. The people like Chantal, anybody, the people that continue to associate willingly with Chantal. Well, it says more about them than it does about Chantal. Oh, sorry about all the noise. So I've set my fire alarm off. I'm now banging around. This is probably like the best live stream you guys have ever seen, you know? All we need is for the trifecta is, I don't know, me accidentally cutting off a finger. <laughs> I impress all the people. All the people here are here watching me because I'm the most impressive people on the planet. You, fuck off. I'm incredible. Who am I? Okay. Keep this stirred. Questionable cooking in the cosmic kitchen <laughs> coming soon on Netflix, right? Oh, and that's a question, you guys. So I'm calling it bad baking and questionable cooking. Is how I have it. Should I do it the other way around? Should I go questionable cooking and bad baking? Because I have the title as bad baking and questionable cooking. But yeah, let me know. Maybe I'll do a community tab pull. And see what everybody thinks. Yeah, thanks for showing up, Radipus. Uh, hey, Pernilla. I don't know if I said hi. Hello. My very first live stream. Oh, Harmony. Harmony in life. Hello. I said hi to Spooky Muse. You guys, like, you guys are all here for the the Ground Zero. Which, uh, I guess that sounds kind of dark. Ground Zero is not a good thing. But you know what I mean. First time. Mm. And I'm streaming it my first time. Okay, like how it is. Yeah, I kind of like bad baking and questionable cooking. Natural ginger, kidney J. Yeah, okay. The oven is heated up 400. I should probably set a timer. Otherwise, oh, because my smoke alarms are down. So if there's a problem, I don't have the smoke alarms to let me know there's a problem. <laughs> oh, I know I have a 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. Where's the timer at on this thing? Um, oh, and I'm the queen of, oh, I'll remember. It'll be fine. No, it's never fine. And I never remember. And because I pulled down the uh, smoke detectors, we've had, uh, let's just say, briquettes have happened more than once. Um, oh, here it is. Clock. Uh, timer. Mm, we'll set it at 25. And basically, you're going to cook it until it's done. But, you know, if it, you stick a toothpick in the middle and pull it out, if it comes out clean, it's done. If you don't have a toothpick, you can use a fork or, you know, a knife. Just any kind of flatware works just fine. Uh, have it not soiled. Like, you don't want a piece of flatware that has something else on it because that could affect it and, until it's golden brown. Um, I set my rack kind of in the middle because if I don't want it set up top because it might like overcook the, the outside but not the inside and I don't set it right at the bottom because when the burner comes on I don't want to crisp it so let me set this for 25 25 minutes okay <laughs> it's 400 god damn it <sighs> and another reason your smoke detector might be going off is because Mr. Grebo has a habit of putting things into the oven <laughs> and no wonder my plates yeah that so the smoke might be going you might be getting smoke because it's actually trying to tell you so the blueberry pancakes we had the other day oh yeah and it totally messed up my plate like it these things are not meant to go in the oven and so now the color of the plates is different like they should be this really pretty bright red and now they have this dark there's the color it should be I don't know if you could see that right yeah you want to see what it looks like oh yeah oh yeah it's and it's cooking like I don't know if you can see the difference but they are not bright anymore. They're like a dark, almost brick red at this point. They are not. <sighs> mm. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay, sera, sera. <clears throat> It wouldn't be the first thing of mine he's destroyed, and it most definitely won't be the last. Uh, here, tell me. Let me know how many people in here uh, have to physically check their oven every time they use it because their other half has a habit of, you know, and like I, I'll get good and consistent of checking the oven and there's never anything in it. But the second I get comfortable in my own kitchen, yeah. <clears throat> so let me know. <clears throat> so, and I'm not going to compost this because there's oils in it uh <clears throat> and i don't like to oh yeah and now there's blueberries <gasps> all over my yellow counter <laughs> okay sorry about the noise uh let me throw this in the garbage yeah these are can you hear hard as a rock okay uh, well that would explain i i thought that the smoke detector went off a little early because normally you know the the place needs to heat up get good and warm and filling in here I'm like it's it's not that warm in here like the oven hasn't been on that long why is it going off and I thought eh, well well and this also reinforces the fact that I say uh, you know when I have my smoke alarms up it helps me remember that things are cooking so yeah uh, I'll see if this is Oh, no, that, yeah, that, uh, maybe I'll take a picture and post it on um, the community tab because the color of the reds, oh, and the, the blues, like this blue right here is a really pretty, like, tealy, and now it's like this dark, it's a, just a, a dark, and it's like it's lost the, uh, <coughs> the yellows in it or something, I don't know, I'm not an artist, so, all right, take your cornbread, Put it in the oven on, I use the middle rack, like I said, uh, <laughs> set the timer, 25 minutes, and uh, I need to sit here for a minute and 
repress the urge to stab Mr. Grebo. Oh, I wouldn't hurt him. Hey, damn it, Danny. Hello. Uh, who else is here? Uh, hey, Stackish. Hey, oh, I said hi to Harmony in life. So, Serenity now, right? Oh, Spooky Muse, I said hello. Yeah, Mr. Grebo, once again, stacking stuff in the, the oven. Mm. I said hi to Chow. Kidney Bay is still here. I said hi, damn it, Danny. Uh, Pernella. All right. So, <laughs> while that's going on, <laughs> I will stir this again. So, okay, this is going to be kind of thick and chunky soup. Um, okay, yeah. Normally I'm doing like dishes along as we go, <clears throat> but, you know, it makes so much noise that I'm not. Because, you know, I don't want to subject you guys into, yeah, like you hear the water running and, yeah, probably not pleasant for you guys, so. I'm not doing dishes as we go, though I will. No, I can't even do that. <clears throat> Little side thing. So for like my uh, brown sugar and my powdered sugar and stuff, I have just regular, um, I guess they call them regular mouthed. I call them narrow because I don't like them. Narrow mouthed uh, canning jars. And then you can get these, you know. And so I've got this on the brown and the powdered sugar. It makes it real nice, you know, easy to, it keeps it so when you're going to use it, it, it doesn't get clumped up. So I don't know where my brown sugar went. Mr. Grebo probably did something with that too. Uh, <clears throat> not that I need brown sugar, but, hmm. Oh, and for people that don't like or don't want honey or can't have honey, but they want something on their cornbread. Something you can use that's slightly less, not quite as bad, is blue agave sweetener. Uh, Mr. Grebo uses that. I'm not, I I can taste the difference, but it's just a, an option. Like I said, I'm, I am no, I'm no Gordon Ramsay. Okay, so. Cooking this down. We'll go back and talk about Chantal in just a second. Like, my urge is, ouch, I meant to do that. Um, thank goodness it was just such a tiny bit. But, yeah, my urge is to do the dishes. But we can talk about Chantal and not do the dishes. So, kitchen safety, people. Kitchen safety. Don't get uh, distracted like I do. And then attempt to scald your own hand. So I'm going to put water in this, and then we'll sit down and have a good chin wag. Um, mm. And I'm sorry if you have to hear me drinking and chewing, because I... Uh, has anybody else noticed Chantal is getting more and more comfortable with her uh, behaviors? Like, you know, it's not... Yeah, Chantal is... So... Okay, let me get this. I'm just going to soak some stuff and then we'll have a good, we will discuss Chantal. I can, I, I can even see if maybe I can pull up. <laughs> we can, we can do the old Kaya Simons, you know, where I show you like this. <laughs> so I have my old iPad um, and it's the one, like, it's only good. Like I can stream YouTube on it. Um, well, I can watch YouTube videos on it, but that's all it's good for. Like, this thing is literally falling apart. So I can use it to keep track of chat. But the one I use when I'm doing videos is this one. This is my newer iPad because uh, I got this one. It was used. It was like 50 bucks. And so it, it, it worked for just, you know, and I can check my email on it. But my phone and my this iPad is what I use, you know, for filming, for uh, the YouTube channel and stuff. And so this iPad is on the fritz and my phone, it's, it's got major problems. Like it's not backing up. It's just not. And, uh, it presents quite the problem. So I'm hoping I can make it until after Christmas. Um, and then hopefully stuff will be on sale and then I've got a credit card. So, okay, let's go. 
we're going to talk about Chantal. I'm just trying to, I'm like super anal retentive clean and the fact that I can't uh, <laughs> do the dishes, <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I'll probably turn off the overhead light too so we can sit here in uh, the dimly lit room and get stuff put up and then chat. And I will put in the uh, description. So these in some places, they're wax covered paper, should be recyclable. In Portland, they are recyclable. Unfortunately, when you live on the outskirts or not in Portland proper, uh, yeah, they're not recyclable. Or if you put them in, they just chuck them in the trash, which is unfortunate because <laughs> I hate seeing all this stuff going to waste. Uh, okay, baking powder is getting put up. No coffee. I kind of need another cup of coffee. Does anybody else need a cup of coffee? <laughs> so i making the coffee, right? I'll make a cup of coffee and film it for you guys because you haven't been watching it for the last three months. All right. Mm, putting this up. Uh, I'm sure to the neighbors, I probably look like a crazy person walking around the kitchen talking to myself. Mm, I love my new steam mop. Oh, my God. It's so amazing. Uh, okay. I've got that. I've got... Oh, I just found my uh, brown sugar shaker. Okay. I'm hungry, too. I kind of am. <laughs> Okay. Is that too dark? I can, you guys let me know. Is that, is it too dark? Cosmic coffee. Exactly. Take decaf. Yep. I, I, this will be decaf. Let's see. Too dark. Leave the light off. We're fine. Just going hard. So is Chantal, is she streaming right now? Is she live right now? Muted lighting is good. I agree, Ginger. Perfect. Romantic. Exactly. It's just me and 25 of my closest friends. Because I'm a little freaky like that. No shame in the game. <clears throat> Be like Kim K. The only way I can get popular is to put out a sex tape. <laughs> All right. Okay. Damn it, Danny says earlier. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so... Chantal going in on FFG's, uh, like I said, I'm, I don't even want to talk about this stuff. It's still the drama, but uh, going after people's pets, ew, low blow, like trying to blame. So anyway, I don't, like I said, I don't, eh, not my circus, not my monkeys. I don't care that much. Okay, I got this. I need to make some coffee. Okay. I know I keep saying okay. Um We'll do it. So it'd be like <laughs> making the coffee. <laughs> it slides right past. Okay, it's going to be loud for a second. I will have to walk away from uh, the pot. The pot is very loud when it's heating up the water. So I'll have to go uh, sit on the other side of the kitchen. Otherwise, you guys won't be able to hear anything. So I got that. As you know, I have pour over coffee. I do have a Keurig, but it's old, and uh, and I never use, well, I don't use the disposable Keurig cups. I had, uh, you know, the reusable kind. You know, you spend like 11 bucks and get six of them, and yeah, it was great, because then you can just get your own coffee, and I want, once again, want to thank Terry K and Puppy Breath, if Puppy Breath's still here, they sent me that Pete's Big Bang coffee. <sighs> so, thank you. Um, okay. This. Oh, that might. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Let's see. This back to the small burner. I already explained about my twenty-four hundred dollar, twenty-three hundred dollar stove we got for. 400 bucks. Okay. Turn this down. I think four is good. Um, is, is the, 
is the the pot is the the kettle the electric kettle boiling is that loud should i walk away or is it okay it's not a percolator it's i use an electric kettle uh it's 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 like the ones that they use uh in the uk and stuff they're not popular here in the u.s almost nobody uses them uh but they're great for hot water for coffee or tea is it is it too loud or is it okay ginger says it's okay Holy moly says it's fine. Harmony and life says it's fine. Spooky says it's good. It's okay. Spooky news, puppy. Okay. Uh, whimsical. I have the, Oh, she. That's just somebody else. She's. So. All right. Uh, so, I put the coffee in this, and with the good coffee. I always measure it out because I don't want to waste it because I, I tend to add too much. Oh, and I just spilled it all over the counter. So about two and a half of whatever these are. I don't know. They came with the... So, okay. <laughs> I can't believe those pancakes were... So I always put my coffee grounds, go into the compost... I've had, I, somebody was like, you can't put coffee grounds in compost. It's too acidic. Uh, all the tannins and everything, alkaloids and everything gets washed out when you make the coffee. So coffee grounds themselves are actually pretty neutral. So, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Bright red kettle. Yep. Desiree uses an electric kettle. Uh, stackish. I bought an electric kettle for hot chocolate. Yep. The, the, I will say electric kettles in the last, like, since TikTok's gotten big, I've noticed, like, things that you didn't used to be able to find in Merca have gotten easier and easier. Like, I think, uh, when my, if you see my video on my, uh, portable washing machine, those things used to be impossible to find in the United States. But right around the time of the pandemic, because I got mine, uh, mine the year before the pandemic, so I already had it. But uh, I noticed that those started to be, you started to be able to easier to find them. But the price went up like by a solid hundred, hundred twenty five dollars across the board. And the electric dryers, oh my god, those! Whew, I got mine on sale for like three eighty nine, and by the time it was all said and done, it was up around four twenty five to get them. But Totally worth it. Mine paid themselves off, I want to say, in about eight months. If you look at the cost of water and, uh, you know, and coins, because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but laundromats around here where it used to be like, uh, everything's gone up by a quarter to 50 cents. And so when you used to be able to do like a load of jeans for like 325, it's up around 450 now if you count the quarters. I don't know what... The UK equivalent is. I am so terrible with exchange rates. Uh, let's see. Uh, I thought coffee grounds were fine. Yeah, they, coffee grounds, Angela. They're 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 perfect for compost. They're they're great. Coffee grounds and compost. Yeah, the damn TikTokers driving up the cost of everything. Samoans. Let's see. Okay, so my just went off and then to and then what you do is you let it wait for about 30 seconds so you're not pouring boiling water and I make a little hole in the middle and then always counterclockwise why I don't know making the coffee <laughs> the thing is is so the coffee that I have um well, if it's pre-ground, it's not ground for, for pour over. It's just not. It tends to be too finely ground. You want it coarser. And so it kind of backs it up where it takes it a little longer to get through. But um, like the coffee that I got from Terry K. But I, either way, it's fine. Is, but if you do have um, a coffee grinder, you know, you can hand grind it. But like for Mr. Grebo, he doesn't like his coffee ground. Um, 
the way that you grind it for pour over coffee. He says, you know, cause it's, it's so big and chunky. You have to actually use a lot of coffee to actually get the, you know, you end up burning through a lot of coffee. So personally, I don't mind, uh, you know, regular ground coffee for the pour over, you know, I'm not, I'm not a barista. I'm not a coffee expert. And so this, this amount, I put two and a half of whatever that was. It's good for like to fill it up about here. You know, it's not too watery. So, okay. So while that's going over, um, <coughs> Ooh, yeah, I don't want to melt my cord. Make sure this is, Oh, that's the other thing. I don't twist real well. So I do a lot of sitting and a lot of <laughs> forward back angles. Like I don't twist. That's all bolted together. Oh, I need to. So keep stirring. Keep stirring. <clears throat> okay. I need to get my spoon holder. I swear we're going to talk about Chantal. <laughs> okay. Got that. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see who's still here. Madison. Hey, Madison. Hi. So, yeah, Madison is here. Uh, Samoans. I said hi. Oh, and thanks. Somebody got rid of the, uh, the, the, the pervy bots. I see that they're in here. Our first sex bots. And I did it with you guys. I feel special. I'm wondering if we shouldn't go out to dinner or something. Let's see. Oh, grateful live. Hello. Good to see you. Very first live stream. <laughs> I'm making split pea soup. Uh, Thank you, Madison. You're my favorite canner. So, yeah, now that I've I've uh, figuratively popped my own cherry, I will probably can. <laughs> I'll probably stream myself uh, canning. I will tell you this. You can be bad baking and questionable cooking all you want. When it comes to canning, don't mess around. You can kill yourself. So that's the one thing. Follow the rules. Uh, yes. Subscribe to Samoans. So yeah, if there's anybody else that's a drop, if mods, if you drop a link for anybody else that rolls in here that we like. Um, so okay, talking about Chantal. So I was talking about like Pete's. Like I think that Pete's and Chantal, even they, they're not in a flat out all out war. I just think it's a, a it's like a low key passive aggressive like they're obviously not talking much and you know how Chantal is is like she'll smack talk Pete's and and share with everybody in the chat before she has a conversation with Pete's I don't really feel that bad for him at this point fool me once shame on you you know fool me twice and then you know and the other old adage is when somebody tells you who they are believe them so uh, let's see exactly Oh, holy moly. Yeah, right? So she says, that's why I've never canned. Yeah, it's a good way. Uh, and the other thing I'm terrified of is is not water bathing, but true pressure canning. Uh, I had some friends I went to high school with, and their dad had done something to the lid of the pressure cooker. He did something, but he didn't tell their mom. And so, you know, and you don't ever leave it unattended. And so she had them lined up in the kitchen telling them and like mind you we're all like in elementary school I think the old oldest was in uh junior high and had them lined up and saying okay you're gonna watch it for this amount of time you're gonna swap out with your brother don't ever take your eyes off it and at that moment the lid chose to let go like it just the pressure was too much and the lid failed and so it shot straight up and it went right through the ceiling like bam and then the water because it comes out and it it came out and went straight out in a straight circle, right? All the way around. Well, they were all lined up because they were little. So they all had second and third degree burns, mostly second degree because you'd be surprised apparently how fast 
you know, I don't know if it's your autonomic nervous system, whatever it is that said danger, Will Robinson. And they, so they had a lot of, don't ask me how, but burns like this. But yeah, it blew. And uh, from here to here, everybody got shrapneled with boiling water in one way or another. And it just, I remember one time my grandma left me kitchen you know watch the canner and when they came back in like I was sitting um in fact I a stool just like this anybody remember these kind of stools when you're a kid you know <laughs> I had pulled that up <laughs> in the very corner of the kitchen and I was curled up in a ball and I was crying like a baby because I was so upset to be in that kitchen <laughs> with that pressure cooker but need to say we all survived but yeah I'm terrified so that is going to be my next hill hopefully not to die on is uh pressure cooking but for right now we'll stick with canning uh, let's see my cousin was canning jam and they had an explosion oh yeah it'll blow up and i used to make my own beer too and if you overfill the bottle you know like the, it's a little bit too excited when you first uh bottle it up yeah and i i was doing them in the big uh you know the big quart jars and the one on the end blew and then as soon as it does that it just the excitement they all did it so you hear this bam and the shrapnel of oh, un, you know unfinished beer and glass and then you just hear bam bam and they just went off in succession and so um <laughs> It's not much you could do. I, I bailed out of the room because I didn't want to die. But, yeah, the entire room was covered with uh, half-finished beer and glass. It was, like, embedded in the wall. And, oh, my God, what a mess. So, yeah, I'm a firm believer of don't stack things next to each other until, you know, after you know it's not going to blow up. So, yeah, it was, like Laura said, a nightmare. Uh, in hindsight, I could laugh about it, but at the time, like first I was freaked out. And then secondly, I was pissed, you know, like how many, how long does it take to get that much beer? And I'll tell you what, I'm not tooting my own horn. I make some pretty goddamn good beer. I mean, this stuff was amazing. Um, this stuff I called angel ale, uh, and it, it was really good. You know, we, we had made like little wings and then I had some, we called it, uh, Oh, it, it was it was a winter pale ale. I'm trying to remember what we called it. I think I called it like not. Oh, sorry, I keep turning this off and on. I think I called it not yours. But what I did is I crocheted a bunch of little tiny toques, beanies, and scarves, and little tiny mittens. You know, with strings holding them together. And so each bottle either had a little tiny beanie on top of it with a pom pom, or it had a little scarf, or it had a. <laughs> You know, the, the string holding the the um, mittens together. Oh, my God. It was so incredibly adorable. Like, yeah. And I put them in, like, little six packs. Oh, my God. So I want to say, like, or maybe I don't think I did every single one, but I think at least two, two to three in each six pack. Yeah, that's right, because it was a lot of work. So everybody had, like, a hat in there's a mitten and uh, uh, the scarf. So I guess it was about three unless I was running low. So it was super cute. Sorry, I know this is a very protracted way of saying like, yeah, I made some beer. It was good. Uh, I made tiny hats to go with it. So it was really cool. Um, then we had the other one we called Angel Ale. Had little handmade wings. It was pretty cool. I uh, had another, we just called it not yours. <laughs> so, okay, so let me stir this and we'll go back talking about Chantal. So yeah, brewing beer, that was good. Um, I miss doing that. Uh, but for for reasons I'm not going to discuss, we don't keep alcohol in the house. So lots to keep honest people honest. So don't brew beer anymore. It's a bummer. Because I make some really good beer. <laughs> Uh, the, one of the most nasty flavors of beer, in my opinion, is when people add like spruce and pine needles to it. Ugh. Like I love gin. I cannot stand that flavor in beer though. It's just disgusting. So that I think was one of the worst flavors I'd ever tasted. Um, oh, we're down. We've only got 11 seconds left and then we'll start talking. 
Let's see. I'd rather talk about beer than Chantal. No kidding. Your uncles make homemade moonshine. Oh, wouldn't that be like, I, I, yeah, I would love to make some moonshine. I'm just terrified I'd end up blind. Like, you know, but yeah, moonshine. Oh yeah. That, that, that was on my list. I also wanted to make homemade beer. Um, and I have to say, I am tempted because I have all the stuff. And nowadays, oh, I wouldn't want to even try to spend the money on what it would cost to get the items you need. But, I, you know, I've got the one-way valves and the, oh, what's the, the hygrometer? You know, the things you can tell, the specific gravity, so you know, the alcohol content. But I've got, you know, the one-way valve. I've got the big, I don't use plastic. I, people that brew in plastic no, I have the big glass carboys though. And I, I mean, I've got everything, everything for brewing beer. So I am tempted to start brewing beer again. Uh, oh, look at this in my little light in my double wide, in my double wide that I own, because you know what? I own my own home, Chantal, and it's a trailer and I love it. <laughs> okay. It looks pretty done. It's a dark brown. Well, it's not dark brown. It's a nice light brown. Uh, what you do to check, I don't have a toothpick close to me, so I'll just go like this. So you poke this down in, pull it out. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> and I'm not trying to talk down to anybody like they're stupid. You'd just be surprised at how many people, you know, nobody taught them how to cook. Nobody taught me. I taught me. Well, I paid attention to Grandma, too, but... Uh, and there were a lot of mistakes. Like, uh, I've got one recipe that was my grandma's. The one I, I posted, we call it leprechaun poop. It's amazing. And I've got uh, my grandma's scalloped potatoes recipe. And then, oh, I've got a stuffing recipe. It's, um, it's a sage sausage. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I think that this looks pretty darn done. So I'm going to put it in here. And it's cold enough. I'm going to use the heat to heat my house so hold on I'm gonna go like this hold on I'm walking over here mm, make sure I, I leave the heat on in the house at about uh, 68 degrees all day just because oh my god electricity is just getting ridiculous so yeah and then okay stir this normally you would want the exhaust fan going yeah, and this, um, it is it's still a little bit more on the liquidy side. And so let's say it's a little thinner than you want. You can just leave the lid off, you know, and cook some of the water off. Um, I cook mine for a really long time. So I haven't added any salt or anything, but I am tempted to see what it tastes like. <clears throat> let's see, puppy breath still here, smoky, whimsical. Yeah, and it's not cooked long enough, but I'm really curious. Oh my God, that is so good. That's really good, guys. Mm. So, and um, I'm going to turn it down. So it's I'm turning it down to a three on my stove. What is that on an electric stove? Don't know. So um, I'm going to add a tiny bit. Oh, it seems to me like, like I usually add garlic to mine too kind of forgot to add the garlic oops oh well it's a little late like it tastes just fine without just a little bit of I'm like should I add the garlic to it I can uh saute down cook down some garlic sweeten it up so should I sweet down I've got or sweat down I've got um <laughs> oh and everybody pay attention so you can get these things right here like the the minced garlic right in oil so here's a way that uh brands are uh giving you less for your money so a lot of, you know you hear about a lot of places like that a lot of brands they've raised prices right or they'll make the product noticeably smaller and keep the same price these guys fucking genius so this stuff right here uh it, it used to say in fact oh, it used to say that a half a teaspoon equals about a clove of garlic right and that's backwards, and it's dark, so never mind. Uh, but it, for, for, for years, it said, um, yeah, I'm a lazy cook. Do I always keep fresh garlic around? 
no. Uh, from Alaska, finding fresh anything used to be hard. Like, so uh, I grew up on canned food. Um, but it said for years that half a teaspoon was equal to a clove of garlic. So I got curious oh, about last year, right, when I was getting ready to get a new thing of uh, minced garlic. Guess what? <laughs> Prices stayed the same. The packages stayed the same size. But this minced garlic and oil, it now says one teaspoon equals a clove of garlic. So without changing their prices, without changing their packaging or anything, they have figured out a way to give you half the amount of product for the same price. The more you know. So yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't even look. Uh, so should I cook? Hey, the 48. Hello, 48. <laughs> Loyal warrior still here. 48. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. And if I didn't say hi, I'm really sorry. I'm not ignoring you. Um, should I sweat down some of the garlic and add it in? You know, usually I do it with the veggies, but what do you guys think? A little bit of garlic? The garlic gate is hot tea. <laughs> exactly. Garlic gate. Uh, yeah, so pay pay attention to stuff. Like, they might be screwing you without you even knowing it. But, yeah, doubled the price. Doubled the price. Really? Like, what brand is this? I don't know who made this, but... Eh. Okay, yes, garlic. Okay, I'm seeing garlic. Chow is still here. <laughs> Products are... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to move... This over to this burner, and I will use this burner for this burner. It's not going to matter. You're not going to be able to see. So, <clears throat> okay. So I got that. This. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have to wash. Okay. Okay. That is just my one of my burners that wasn't being used, turning itself off. So it, it, because this is one of those, you know, it, it, it excites the molecules of the metal in the pan. That's why I have to use ferrous pans, ferrous, you know, iron, which means magnetic. It excites them and that's what heats them up. And so if it doesn't sense anything magnetic to heat up, the cooktop shuts itself off, which is good. Because <clears throat> we've all seen Mr. Grebo and his ammo uh, he'd burn our house down if we didn't have that. Trust and believe. Okay. No shade on Mr. Grebo. He just, pretty sure he's trying to kill, kill us in our sleep. Okay. So I've got, let's turn it on. And that's the thing is these things tend to cook really hot. So air on the side of ca caution if you have one of these new conduction. Because, yeah, it's, is it a conduction? It's not in conduction like I'm just totally like I said I'm, I was so nervous about coming online I cannot remember so get the water out of that let's see we got that on one I'll turn it up to three to cool it down let's see what chat says oh spooky muse be right back I'm gonna make some ramen it is uh princess Alyssa it turning itself off it's amazing and like I said these things, they don't get that hot. The glass will heat up if you set something hot on it. And it has a, uh, like a, a warm indicator, the little light. But overall, oops, you, you know, you're not going to like scald yourself and your life, you know, with the top of this thing. It's, it's great. <clears throat> Let's see. Induction cooker. Thank you, Desiree. Induction. I just, you know how you have those certain words like, that you can't remember or a word that I can't say, feel free to laugh at me is cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. You know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, I, I've never been able to say that word. It's a problem. Uh, I cannot say cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Yeah, I have a problem with it. So can't say it, never been able to. So the induction cooker is in a similar venue as far as like I struggle with it but it's just I can't remember the word it's not that I mispronounce it so 
yeah. Uh, induction cooker, yes. Sad but true says puppy breath. She's talking to Angela. Puppy breath. I can't say sti- I can't say statistics, stats, statistics, right? No, I feel you. Uh, and it's like when people have had me sp- say cinnamon, cinnamon. You know, when I do it slow, I can do it. I cannot, and it's like I can remember being four or five years old and being tortured by uh, siblings and cousins because of my inability to say what they viewed as a very simple word. So, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to pull out. <clears throat> and like I said, sorry about the sniffing and throat clearing. I don't have a cold. Like I said, I have Tourette's. So random noises are going to happen. <laughs> uh, okay. And I got to wash my hands because I scratched my nose. Um <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to set, so it turned out really nice. I'm going to set this. Yeah, see, it's getting cool enough where I can almost touch it. I'm going to set this. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to set it over here on the counter. Uh, The little, you know, waist-high counter I have on the other side. I'm going to turn that. I'm going to open this up. Um, (laughs) Okay, so this is nice and warm. Okay. Oh, and that's the other thing. It won't let you turn the heat up or down. Like if it doesn't, if it doesn't fill a pot on it, it's not going to let you do anything. So nice neutral oil. Like I said, don't want to waste the extra virgin on heating it up because I don't know if it's aromatics. I don't know what it is. I just know the extra virgin olive oil. When you heat it up, you lose everything about it that makes it extra virgin and so yummy. And so why spend the money? Uh, I use canola oil. I think it's also called rapeseed. Rapeseed is canola, I think. But for for reasons you can probably ascertain, canola sounds a little better than... Let's see, whimsical. Just shout random swear words. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Synonym or cinnamonum. Cinnamon. Cinnamonum. Cinnamonum. Synonym. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Okay, maybe tomorrow. I'll try. I'll practice, Kidney J. Uh, okay, got this. I'll add some. So this is that. It's got something on it, so I'm not dipping it in. That's the other thing Chantal does. Is she's always like cross contaminating all all the stuff, like just constantly. Man, have I been on for a really long time? I'm not going to make this forever, you guys. I'm just trying to get the soup done and the bread. And then I swear I'll let you go. So I'm going to put about that much. Uh, uh, and for these induction stoves, you don't want to use metal in the pans. So these pans I got from my aunt because my cousin likes to cook with metal and I think they look great but you know she they they got a little banged up so my aunt gave them to me she's the one that turned me on to this induction stove it's amazing Uh, I'll never go back it's great um so okay getting the it smells very it smells very strongly of garlic it's uh so creamy who am I (laughs) okay Okay, that, uh, oh, let me put the lid on this. Okay, let's see. Chat says I meant to do that. Uh, didn't need to do this. I like cooking with grapeseed oil because of the high smoke point. Yes, Princess Alyssa. Like, there's just, um, so there's all these things that I learned when I, you know, that things I've learned over the years, and, like, I do, but it's only since I started watching cooking on YouTube that I figured out why like I, I I I like canola oil for a lot of cooking type stuff I never knew why well it has a really high smoke point and so you know it made sense to me so yes YouTube is helping me put words to why I do the things uh, she's a plague nothing will kill her yeah but is it also fresh fresh uh Natural ginger, ginger cannot say specificity, specificity. I can say that one. I, I feel your pain, though. Cinnamon. 
Avocado oil does too, or safflower. Yes. Um, avocado oil is expensive though, isn't it? I thought rapeseed oil was bad. <laughs> I don't think so. I th it has to do with whether it's a natural oil or like hydrogenated and stuff like palm oil. You'll see palm oil in everything. And that's not really a natural oil oil like because they hydrogenate things and it's something you didn't used to be able to do but we can now do with science and throwing hydrogen into oils um so that's where you get the things that where they can make liquid oils solid with your like your criscos and stuff like that um they have ways i think i think don't quote me on that they have ways they can do it now where it's not as bad for you but that's that's what it used to be but palm oil is terrible for you you know but if you look at any Oh, I've walked away. Hi. I've walked away because I've got, I'm wearing, I'm, I'm trying to find the Crisco. Hold on. Um, so I can look at the, but your, your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just really struggling for words today. Uh, oh, where is the, so the, these hydrogenated oils or these olives, they've made solid, but like, uh, High fructose corn syrup is not good for you. It's not. And that's sugar. That has nothing to do with oil. Sorry. Um, but these, these man-made things that we cook with, they're not good for you. But, you know, everybody used to use lard, but now we've got Crisco. Um, I'm pretty sure they fixed the problem with Crisco. Um, Winco. I don't, oh, I'm at the wrong one. Uh, okay, let's see what it says. What's the ingredients? So the ingredients, so soybean oil, hydrogenated palm oil. Ugh, see, like I said, Crisco, Crisco adjacent things are not good for you. So soybean oil, hydrogenated palm oil, palm oil, mono and diglyceride. So mono and monoglycerides and diglycerides. Uh TBHQ and citric acid added to help protect flavor. So hydrogenated palm oil, like I said, is so bad for you. Um, should I Google this stuff or nobody cares? Do we want to go into hydrogenated oils or do we just want to smack talk Chinny? Whimsical says, I've had no aptitude for science. <laughs> Seed oils are not good. Exactly natural ginger. You know, so just because you can eat it doesn't mean you should. It's like in in Marca, uh, in, in Ireland, because, you know, they subsidize bread there. You know, there's a government thing like if you blah, blah, blah. Subway cannot legally call their hoagies, their subway rolls, their grinder rolls, their, you know, oblong eight inch rolls. They cannot legally call it bread the sugar content is too high so they can't call it bread because it's not legally bread and so the things and i'm not saying i'm not begging on america because like i said i'm just fine living here you know i'm not going to jump on the train like chinny and start shit talking the country that takes care of me but uh in the united states the amount of sugar that they add to bread is actually kind of obscene you know, uh, Pringles. So wh whoever makes Pringles, Procter and Gamble, whoever it was, there was a new tax coming up, a new food tax. And whichever company it was successfully argued in a court of law that Pringles did not meet the technical definition of food. Therefore, ipso facto, it didn't, it could not be taxed with this new food tax. And they won. Like maybe that sense changed, but Pringles won the argument in a court of law that their food doesn't qualify as food, and then they didn't have to pay the uh, corresponding food tax. Ha! Let's see. Legally, yeah, legally bred. Yeah, exactly. No justice. It's like, yeah, it's not legally bred. Uh, so, yeah, just so you know. And so there's just a lot of things, and there's a, you know, and a lot of places where it's like that is just because it's sold. And then as far as labeling foods, natural and this and that, 
eh, 99.9% of the time, there nothing, nobody regulates that stuff and the claims. Like you pretty much need to get involved with a class action lawsuit. Is this me making any kind of comment about that stuff? No. These are just the facts. Do with this information what you want. You know, eat vegan, don't eat vegan. Like I said, that's all between you and your God, whether it's God with capital G or Vishnu the Destroyer or whatever. You know, that's, but I'm just saying that <clears throat> there are certain things that you can legally eat that are not good for you. So I went off on a t tangent about Crisco, but what were we going to talk about? Yes, read labels. Um, let's see that one. Okay. That's somebody talking to no justice. Yeah. It's crazy how much sugars they add in products in the United States. It is, it's very hard to find any canned foods, uh, salts and sugar. So the big thing is, is salts have become unpopular. So it's really easy to find canned stuff. Now, no salt added, right? Add 10 cents to the price, but finding the no sugar added, good luck with that. That is hard. Um, corn syrup. Oh, my God. Don't even get me going. Corn syrup. It's not natural. So bad for you. Okay. Let me put my not Crisco up, and then we'll go back to <laughs> – like I said, you know, this is just I, – I, I, and we all do things every day. Like, yeah, theoretically, everything we do on the planet, you know, is bad for us or could kill us, right? But whatever. It's just when you do things in excess – that's where the problem comes in. Because what is it? Like if you cook meat, theoretically, you know, cooking stuff, it, it now becomes a carcinogen, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. So, uh, I'm so cool, Janet. I'm trying to see if there's anybody new. Yeah, Janet says, I think the U.S. is one of the worst countries for additives. It it, it actually really is. I used to live and work down like uh, towards Central America. At the bottom, and the stuff we get away with in the United States. It's, it's actually shocking, you know, but that's what happens when you have large companies uh, lobbying. So I, what was it? I heard that joke about what they need to do and we are not talking about politics. Okay. The only thing I should say is what we need to do is rather than, I heard somebody say this, that rather than wearing suits, the uh, politicians need to wear those kind of jumpers <laughs> like NASCAR driver pit crews do and depending on who's donating you money, uh, you make the patch bigger, right? Because that's what you see. And so you can basically look around. And depending on how big the patch is for these various company, the guy goes, you can just look at some and be like, oh, you're the senator representing Exxon or Procter & Gamble, you know, because you'd have a big old, depending on what percentage of your income came from. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But, um, Okay. So this, the garlic, you want the garlic, it's on a very low heat because you don't want it cooked. You're just kind of sweating it down because what I'm trying to do is uh, when you cook sugar slowly, it caramelizes it. It, it you know, it makes it sweeter. Um, it's a carbohydrate thing. It's a sugar thing and everything. I mean, if it, you're either a fat, you're a protein or you're a carbohydrate like uh, crab shells, crab shells. Did you know crab shells are just a very chitin crab shells? It's just a very complex carbohydrate. It's just a very complex sugar. That's what crab shells are, you know? So I don't know what that information is good for, but just to let you know. Okay. Um, I think this is, this is cooked down pretty good. So I'm just going to take this and put it in. So I see I'm left-handed and so I now I'm trying to do this right-handed and it's an absolute nightmare trying to do it with my wrong hand. But <clears throat> I guess what I need to try to do is put the camera on the other side, but I don't know. There's I meant to do that. There's a wall on this side, so okay. Kind of okay. Okay. I think we got that pretty good. Um, sorry for the banging. I I can't stand that. There are certain channels where I've just stopped watching because, you know, they'll all of a sudden have like, there's this one that I just won't, I don't subscribe. They're a real big channel, so it's not like they're missing, but they have this, 
introduction music. So the guy will be talking to give you a quick intro on what they're going to talk about. And then it breaks into their intro music and then goes back to them having a conversation. Well, the trouble is, is the volume level between, you know, him just talking to you like this when that intro music, their introduction intro bit kicks in. It is so fucking loud. It like blow your eardrums out. And so it's just, I got tired of like, you know, giving myself a little mini heart attack at 2 a.m. when I'm just trying to, you know, YouTube and chill. All right, stir the garlic in. <clears throat> okay, so this, I'll take a picture to show you. It's, uh, man, I really want a piece of that cornbread. It smells so good. Okay, so I'll show you. Yeah, it's starting to cook down, but... Um, Let's see. Oh, it didn't take the picture. So, I don't know why. So, so you can see it's not quite as... Okay, there it goes. So... Okay. Well, that's super helpful, huh? I see. I swear it doesn't look that bad in real life. Um, okay, well that's useless. I I don't know what's going on. I I promise you, it's it. Some of the water has cooked out, so I'm just gonna leave it on three. Leave it off, and because you know, Mr. Grebo likes his. Okay, how long have I been on stream? I need to cut some of the ham up. Um, let me see. How long have I been doing this? Let's see. Oh my God. I've been on for almost three hours. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Okay. Let me try to start getting ready to wrap this up. I'm so sorry. We didn't even get a smack talk. <gasps> so sorry. Stephanie C. I said hi to, I said hi to no justice. Oh my God. I can't believe I've been running my mouth for almost two hours and 50 minutes. <gasps> Hello, bunny melon B. I've been talking for a really long time. My very first live bunny mom and bee, uh, split pea soup. Good way to use up vegetables. Uh, I winged it. I made some homemade cornbread and I'm trying to have a little bit of a chat about, uh, I know, Grebo talking a lot. What? Oh, Lainey Bo. Hello. So good to see you. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about Chantal for a minute though. So trying to get the split pea. I will put the recipes if the cornbread it I yeah, I ate some of the the raw batter, which you're not supposed to do because it has eggs in it. It tasted great. So I think I winged it because it was all I didn't listen to uh Angela. Angela told me to use a cup and I think I only used a third. Or maybe she said half a cup. Either way I didn't listen so <clears throat> So this is my shut up uh, cup, um, and I made a little bit too much coffee, so I am pouring the coffee in. I'm going to add my creamer, and then we will discuss Chantal. Do I think I'm a better human being than her? Yes. Do I make fun of her because she's a super morbidly obese individual? No. Ham salad could weigh 100 pounds, and I still think she would be in my top five most disliked human beings on the planet list. She is terrible. Uh, I also think that she is one of those people that uh, just naturally, I guess you could say, breaks broke bad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like her. Don't have a lot of sympathy. Okay. Did I add this? So I'm adding a tiny bit. It's the sugar-free kind, so it's only 15 calories per tablespoon. Is sugar-free stuff like this good for you? No, but uh, don't care. Okay. Oh, it's not hot, hot, so hold on. Let me put this up in my microwave real quick. Like I said, the microwave's up on top of the fridge, so it's always fucking balancing act. And then I have to time it just right because I can't reach the back of it. And I'm tall, too. All right. Okay. 30 seconds. I swear we're going to sit down and talk about Chantal. And then I'll, I'll get off because I'm sure you guys are. 
Oh, Grim, two, four, one. Hello, hello. Hello, Grim. I said hello to Bunny. Uh, Samoans is here. Grateful Life, I said hi to. So this thing doesn't let you know when new people roll in. And when I look away, hello, Grim. Um, so I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just, okay. Oh, and so it went off, but it's in the back. So I have to have it so it spins around and the stuff starts, stops in the front. Otherwise, I can't reach it. So hold on. I got to get another five seconds to get my <laughs> goodies up front. All right. Okay. So, wow, it takes about, it took eight seconds for, my, for it to get from the back to the front. So that's like, what, 16 seconds for a full revolution. Okay, make it a mess. <clears throat> Is the sound still okay, everybody? Graham. Hey, DG. Good to see you. My very first live. Thank you for showing up. Hello. And I really am hungry. I want to eat a piece of that uh, <laughs> cornbread. Um, let's see. Yes, DG. Let's see, Pernilla. I said hi to Lini Bo. Thank you. Thank you, No Justice. Thank you, DG or Desiree. Thank you, Grim. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Laura. Holy mole. Okay. Uh, I need to turn the heat up on this a little bit so it gets a little bit, because I want it to be simmering, not cooking. What's the technical difference? I have no idea. No idea. So let's see, should I try to tip this up a little? Is that better for talking if we're not looking at this? Yeah, you can't. Hello, Dax Marshall, welcome. <laughs> Bunny, I feel like I'm with my peeps, right? Thank you, Simone, yeah, this is good angle. Um, yeah, it's like some things went down. We couldn't all congregate. And smack talk where we used to. Not my circus, not my monkeys. But yeah, I missed you guys. I missed having the conversation. Uh, you know. Hey, Denise. Denise, hello. I hope I hope everybody's healthy, Denise. Not gonna, it's not my business to let your info out. But yeah, I hope everybody's nice and healthy. Um, Okay, is that coffee a little weak because I added too much water? So the two and a half scoops I put in here, I was only supposed to do about two cups worth of, and I filled this thing to the top. So I wonder if you could pour water over it again to try to, oh, well, no, I think that'd be a bad idea. So, okay, we're turning this up. And then uh, I'll see if the cornbread has cooled down. Okay, so... Yeah, this cornbread, like, oh, I'm talking to this, the cornbread, oh my God, it smells so good, like, I really, oh, it smells so good, I really want to open it and eat, but that would be rude, because you guys don't have anything to eat, so I don't want to be that guy, but no, I'm going to break into it about the time we end this stream, so, yes, D is here, yay, oh, and if, if, Kidney J and Laura, if you guys could link, so link Kidney J's channel, please link Denise NYC's, please link when Samoan bites, you know, anybody that has a channel in here. And, and if I forgot your channel, I apologize. I'm super nervous still. But yeah, if you could, um, unless you're a scumbag, like just because I like chatting with you and chat doesn't mean I want to watch your stuff. So if the person puts out vile content, don't link it. But if we like it, link it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding you guys <laughs> just being a jackass. So, okay. I'm turning. The one thing you have to watch out for is when the, uh, the split pea, when you've turned it up a little bit, you know, cause I want it to cook at a slightly higher when it gets really thick, you have to watch out. At least for me is that when it's, um, when it's thicker like that, you don't, I, I don't like to turn it up too quickly cause then you end up burning on the bottom and then you have that like dinner plate of burnt soup on the bottom of the pan and then you inadvertently always stir it and then stir it into the soup and it's just gross so sorry my nose is really itching 
I keep scratching it, so let me wash it because unlike Chantal, I'm not going to subject everybody in my house to <laughs> my bodily fluids. Oh, God, she's gross. Oh, and the plate, the plate I told everybody out that, okay, let me see how it turned out. So remember how my, I found that. So I, anybody that's late, I have to pull down my smoke alarms, right? Because the heat, the heat causes my smoke alarms to go off when I'm baking, but usually it takes a while. Well, I had pulled the, they, they went off tonight. I pulled them down and I thought, well, they went off kind of early, but okay. Anyway, it turns out they went off not because of the heat. They went off because Mr. Grebo had thrown some pancakes on one of my good plates into the oven. And it had slowly, the temperature had heated up not only the plate to 425 degrees, but the pancakes also that had been sitting in there since when's the last time we had pancakes? Don't know. So, uh, and I said the heat, it had really darkened up the red on this, like it was a dark brick color, but check it out, you guys. And I need to stop saying you guys. So this is the one that came out of the oven. It is now that it's cooled down. The red is no longer a brick color. It's now back to that bright. And this is the one, the other one. Uh, sorry, it's all messy because it got the blueberries on it, but they're now the exact same color. So it didn't ruin my plate as I thought. Once it cools down, the red went back to, you know, the normal fire truck red instead of brick red, like the heat. I had, so my plate was not permanently ruined. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> so, you, yeah, if you're cooking soup, you want to be sure to keep it stirred. Um, I do have one of those Instapots. I have never used it. It's brand new in the box. Uh, a friend uh, got it for me for my birthday, mm. and I have yet to actually use it. I need to use it, but I don't know how to use an Instapot. So let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, hey, White Knight. Hello, hello, Johnny. Uh, Samoans. Okay, now we can talk about Chantal. Can we talk about Chantal? Guys. Oh. And I don't know how, but uh, my on my screen, the 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 chat has just started showing up. Hmm, that's good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Tribo tried to be a pyro. I tried to burn the house down. Yikes. Uh, okay. We got the white knight in here, whimsical. So uh, we were talking about, so Pete's keeps saying, oh, it's all fine. It's all fine. And maybe Pete's in his own mind thinks that it's fine, but I don't think it's fine. Like, you know, he can say what he wants, but there is, there is some strife between uh, Chantal and I got to take this hat off. It's getting hot. So I'll keep talking there is some strife, I believe, between Chantal and Pete's, like, and maybe it's, and if I get glitchy, I'm sorry, because I'm walking back, trying to find a headband, um, I lost my train of thought, um, so it's Sunday, I gotta take my vitamins, sorry, okay, I got this, and I'm walking, um, hold on, this. Oh. All right. Hold on. So Pete's and Chantal, you know, and I think partly they're probably, they can't talk much because salad is always there. And even if this, no, even if this is, this is a thousand percent uh, a scam. Like, you know, maybe at this point, Chantal's catching some feels for salad, but yeah, this, this is, um, a part of me thinks like, um, well, Chantal, remember the one married guy, she had kind of, you know, drove all the way to Montreal and she said that the guide said, Hey, I've got a nephew. Um, I kind of think that this might be how Chantal got hooked up in this current scam is salad is in fact the nephew that, uh, so this is my ubiquinol coenzyme Q10. I take 200 milligrams twice a day. 
uh, if you just get the straight coenzyme Q10 out of stores, um, it's not as biologically available. So it's much cheaper to buy the coenzyme Q10 and it's labeled coenzyme Q10. Um, <laughs> you see it all over in health food stores and stuff, but it's not as biologically available. It's kind of like the difference between like magnesium glycinate and my magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is not that biologically available. And realistically, that's why they put it in laxatives. Uh, but yeah, so the, the coenzyme Q10 that's more biologically available, ubiquinol, Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to multitask. Um, yeah, so you, you have to look for the stuff specifically called ubiquinol. Uh, it is fairly expensive. There's only one place in the United States that actually manufactures it. And it's called like Kenoya or something. It's based out of Texas. My point is, is if you have some kind of metabolism issue, like if... I, long story short, but like, uh, like, especially for people, my opinion, it's not medical advice, people that have, that have had COVID and stuff like this, taking coenzyme Q10, the biologically available, available, the ubiquinol, it helps your body's powerhouse. Your body's powerhouse is, uh, the, uh, your mitochondria, which are like symbiotic bacteria that somehow ended up in our cells, you know, blah, 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 long ago, but your mitochondria, you know, when they metabolize, they use something called ATP and they're basically the powerhouses of your entire body. And so some people have problems with that pathway. And so for me, taking the ubiquinol helps with that ATP production and, uh, makes me feel better. So has this been scientifically proven? Yes, they know for a fact that ubiquinol, the coenzyme Q10, helps with ATP production, blah, blah, blah. Is it effective in me? Don't know. But I feel that it makes me feel better. My specialist said, go for it. It's a good idea. So that was a very long-winded way of saying I take 200 milligrams of ubiquinol twice a day. Uh, fight me. Okay, hold on. And you guys have all seen me try to swallow pills. <laughs> So I'm not going to do that on camera because my eyes water and I about die. So I am off camera temp trying to swallow a ubiquinol pill. Mm. Mm. Sorry if you happen to hear me swallow. Okay, sorry for all the banging, guys. Mm. DG says he is the nephew for sure, and this is a fake. So she's getting for paper for Canada. So going back to what I said, I honestly believe that salad. That's right, cupcake. I'm calling you salad. And that's an insult to salad. Um, salad is the nephew of the guy in Montreal. Because the thing is, is like Chantal lies. But if you listen to her, she inadvertently truths leak out. Why? Because she's a low watt light bulb. She's a terrible storyteller. Her burn game is on par with that of a developmentally delayed second grader. It's like, oh, my God, she must have got eaten. Sorry, I had my microphone away. She must have got eaten for breakfast on the playground. Like, even to this day, I can guarantee you that your average fifth grader would have more sick burns than Chantal. Okay, got that swallowed. Um, and I know I've been on stream forever I'm turning into that guy. Okay. So the split P is starting to thicken up once again. Can you see it? No. Even if I go like this, you can't see it. Not at all. Uh, so 
you know what I should do is if I keep doing this, I should save and I should get some glass cookware. Oh, wait, but this is a, an induction stove and it needs to be big magnetic. Never mind. I have an induction cooker, as Desiree would say. Uh, so, yes. And for anybody that's new, this right here, this is not filth. I don't chantal it when I clean my home. This pl The place where I live is old, and this is just, it is what it is. It's as clean as I can get it, uh, you know. Like behind my toilet, it just looks stained up and nasty. You could eat a sandwich off the floor behind my toilet. Oh, P.S., by the way, I love my steam mop. Okay, so I'll keep stirring this. Uh, let me get my camera <coughs> a little more, and then we'll keep talking because I feel like it's pointed up at the ceiling a little too much now. Okay. What do you think? Is that good? So uh, what were we talking about now? Yeah, Chantal has the comeback of an eight-year-old. Sala, sa, salala, salali, ciao. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, I've caught up on chat. I'm not ignoring anybody. Just please understand. It's This is very hard. Like, I, you know, I, I can't even walk to gum at the same time. So talking while looking at chat, while trying to pay attention to the soup, something's got to give. Uh, let's see, bathroom sandwich. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's see, white knight, the new steamer, salad tosser. <laughs> you guys are savage. I love it. Uh, thank you, white knight. Thank you. Um, so my goal is, so you guys understand, and people have paid money to put super chats in Chantal's chat, chat, and she has never said my name. So say my name, hashtag say my name, Chinny. That's our goal, to get Chantal to say, great Grebo, right? And once she does that, I don't know. I could probably die happy, but I've been trying for a few years. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Bum, bum, yes, I will start trying to. I, so the, the bad baking and questionable cooking, I think I'm going to start trying to do that like weekly on like Fridays, you know, and it won't be this marathon event that I have going on here. But this is the first one, you know, so we need to snuggle and get to know each other afterwards. But in general, it'll probably be a couple hours. Uh, I'm thinking Fridays. Uh, after 5.30 p.m., which is specific time. So that would be on a Saturday morning in Australia. And after 5.30 p.m. Pacific would be after 8.30 p.m. East Coast market time. Uh, just, and I did a poll on my community tab page. Oh, and, and I, I don't always see my community tab because I mostly use my iPads. And on iPad, you cannot access community tabs through the app. It's not a thing. And so I and so and sometimes like I go try to to try to like comments uh, on the iPad, they don't always show up. And so if it seems like everybody else is getting like a heart from me, a, you're a fucking asshole. No, just kidding. Uh, but B, it's like for some reason, certain comments, they just don't show up. And I have to go in through the studio to see them. And so, you know, I do that every couple days. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to do it more often, but YouTube does not make it easy. And I, I'm going to guess that YouTube and the Apple Corporation hate each other because it's almost like these two are mutually exclusive for, you know, like YouTube does, the YouTube app just doesn't work on iPads very well. So, uh, yeah, don't use the app. Excellent, Ginger. The trouble is, is um, the only way I can get it to autoplay and stuff is I have to do on the app. And Apple, every time I turn my iPad on, it keeps trying to install the app when I'm doing it. And if I tell it no, um, I want to use the website. It's a whole thing. Like, they just don't make it easy. So it's 11.11 right now. Da -da 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 -da. Right on. Um, okay. 
apple is evil. They're all evil at this point. Ham. Oh, that's right. Um, I do need to. So, I, and I discussed this. If you're doing like ham hocks and beans and stuff, yes, you can throw the bone with the meat on it early on. But if you're doing ham for split pea, don't throw the meat in when you first start cooking. You will get flavorless rubber tasting chunks of not meat. And there's just not enough flavor from the meat that's going to help influence the soup. So you're just going to make it worse. So don't add the meat on the front end. I don't even add the meat. I chop it up. <laughs> Trouble is, is if I chop it up now, I'm probably going to sit there and snack on it all because, yeah, I like to eat sometimes. So, but yeah, I like to sprinkle the meat over the top. And I did save some of the celery uh vegetation to sprinkle in fact these are getting a little wilted let me put them in some cold water in the fridge and that has to do with turgor pressure um basically all plants have cell walls and it's the amount of water in the cells that that's how come once something has gotten wilted and getting soggy like or plants even though most plants even though you get um the water back in it it keeps on that wilty appearance because the damage has already been done i don't know where i'm going with this so i'm ripping up the the leaves okay oops oops okay well just trust me i'm ripping the leaves up <clears throat> i'm going to put them in the fridge because the cold water because of uh will absorb back in and that has to do with diffusion and all that stuff google it Maybe I'll just have a, a whole YouTube video on how that stuff works. Okay, so nice and cold, put it in the fridge. So, but I th it looks really pretty when you sprinkle um, the, the, the celery leaves with the ham on top. All right, so the split pea soup is actually starting to cook down pretty nicely now. So I'm going to turn it down so where it's on the true, I have it on two. This thing goes from one well it goes from l to h low to high uh l is like you're it's barely warm enough to melt stuff so i'm gonna leave this on two uh sorry i'm nervous so many words i just keep talking <laughs> sound like you know i should be off wicked licking a window somewhere so <laughs> okay we've got this balanced on here i've cooked off enough of the liquid um, I'm going to get, so the ham that we have, uh, Mr. Grebo got it from work every year. They give them this, I think it's called honey baked ham. Super expensive. Damn, they get it <laughs> around Thanksgiving. So yeah, mm, it smells so good. So let me go like this. <clears throat> I need to chop it up though, and then I, I really do need to chop it up and then either use up the rest or throw it in the freezer. Because at this point, I don't want it to go bad. But once you've frozen it, it's not really good for making sandwiches anymore. So, oh my God, guys, look at this thing. So the bone in this really does. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. This bag that it's in is just getting gross. It's sugary because it's honey baked. Ham. So these are fully baked, but God, they just have so much the honey. I think they're called honey baked. Um, sorry about all the noise. The honey baked ham company franchise established in 1957. Honey baked ham, completely backwards. So yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, it still smells good. Yeah, don't use bad ham. But if you look at it, <clears throat> yeah, it's gorgeous meat and. Um, this, I can use the ham bone, uh, ham bone. So for <coughs> making up some other kind of soup, okay, you're going to hear water running because I'm, once again, I'm handling meat and, uh, it's called good kitchen hygiene. I'm sure there's a word for it for people that work in kitchens. I don't, I just know that I don't want to be the guy that, you know, gives everybody salmonella or E. coli. I've had salmonella. And E. coli. <laughs> I was working down in uh, <clears throat> the Yucatan Peninsula. And let me tell you, I, I got over salmonella and then came home down with E. coli. And I've never came so filled, filled, 
I've never felt like I came so close to dying in my life. It was terrible. So I really want to start snacking <laughs> on this ham. It smells so good. Okay, I'm just going to have a tiny piece, and then we'll talk about Chantel. Oh, hey, Aaron Tay. Hello. Hello. I am eating directly. Oh, my God. Wait, who, wait, what? Um, mm, mm, so creamy. Mm, so fresh. Who am I? Mm. Okay. I need to get a bag. Okay. I, I'm just going to have one more piece. I need to get a bag to put this in so I can put it back in the fridge. You can still hear me. <clears throat> What's my bag? So, in my laundry room, you guys are going to laugh at me. I'm so sorry I'm eating into the... <laughs> my aunt gave me this. So, if you have misophonia, I'm really sorry because I just ate into the mic. My aunt gave me this. Tell me this isn't the best. Does, doesn't everybody remember their grandma had one of these? You know, the, the tea towel sewn in half where you stuff the bags in them? And then uh, with the little thing that hang on the wall, and then you can just pull the bag out from the bottom. <laughs> Is that not the best? Anybody else remember those? Oh, I've just dropped it and spilled them everywhere. So hold on. Okay, I'll look at chat in a second. Let me know in chat, everybody. So, okay, I gotta hang it up. What's everybody in chat say? Love those, yes. And I said hello to Aaron Tay. So good to see you. Um, Chow is here. Love those, says Bunny Melon. How about you, Pernilla? They they have these in uh, your country of origin, I would assume, because the first one I ever saw was uh, in my grandparents' kitchen. And Grandpa's from, I don't know if you want me discussing where you're from, but from your country of origin. Mm. All right. And so somebody says, good C2. Okay. I'm going to hang this up and then we're going to finally talk about Chantal. Um, also remember to keep, keep stirring that soup because now that it's gotten thick, you don't want it to burn to the bottom. <clears throat> okay. I have a separate towel. This is going to be my meat towel. I will not mix it with anything else. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the plastic noises. I know it's very loud. So, um, there we go. <clears throat> um, that, and see, there's a big chunk like this bone. I'm going to be able to make something really yummy out of this. Close this up. I should just pull it all off and uh, put it in some, uh, you know, some Tupperware. I don't know what this stuff's called nowadays. I still call it Tupperware. That's what we had when I was a kid. I, they still make Tupperware. Uh, what's that new stuff called? I think they call it Sterilite. That stuff's crap, though. It's terrible. It's not made very well. Okay. Um, I just knocked over something in the fridge, but it has a lid. Okay. I still have some red beans and rice in here that I made the other night. Um, I do have a lot of smoked salmon in here. Man, I wish everybody, I wish we could all like get together and just like hang out and have a potluck. How awesome would that be? Okay. Let's see. Somebody say anything. Let's see. Chicken is so fresh in Kuwait. It lays eggs on your burger. So, you guys, this this ham, well, it's uh, it's forbidden. So, I shouldn't be eating it because it's pork product. But other than that, it's super fresh, really creamy. Um, definitely forbidden, though. What's that word for forbidden? Not harem. It's um, what's the word? I'm forgetting it. I totally went. Blank. For forbidden. Not harem. Uh, what's that word I'm looking for, guys? Um, 
not harem. Oh, haram? Okay, yeah. I guess I was thinking harem, but yeah, it's haram. So, yeah, my bad. Sorry. Thanks. <clears throat> For some reason, my brain was like harem. It's like, no, no, haram. So, yeah, forbidden. But the good news is, is we have uh, Chantal to educate all of us because I don't know about you, but there is nobody on this planet that I trust more than Chantal Marie Olive Seralt to get the facts out there. Unbiased, well-researched, completely legit facts. Mm. You know, life goals, guys. Life goals. All right. Uh, <clears throat> stir in my soup. Yeah, it's thickening up nicely. So I'll go like this. <clears throat> Got this. Um, let's see. I'm going to cut up my ham while we have a conversation. Uh, I don't know if I can get this to... Oh, I see what happened. I was like, why isn't this lined up? Um, I had it broke loose. Okay, so you guys can't see what's going on, but I now see what's going on. I, You will laugh at me at how white trash I am. I have my iPad holder. I have it taped with painter's tape to the, the, the holder that I use. <laughs> And apparently the painter's tape gave out. Uh, and so it was facing upwards. So, all right. Okay, wait, that's, I need to get a clean. Uh, let me look at chat and then we'll go back. I am so sorry, you guys. Like I, I will be so much kinder to people when they stream. Like this is really hard to do, keep track of everything. Um, all right. And like I said, for anybody that's new, you'll notice I stand up, I sit down, I stand up, I sit down. I'm, I'm not a fidgety person. It's just my, my spine. I, I just, yeah, it's a, it's a spine thing. So I got to do what I got to do so I can, you know, not die from pain. Okay. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Laura. Okay. <laughs> I'm cutting this up. So we were talking about that, uh, Oh, and for uh, the split pea soup, I like to cut them in, in small pieces. You know, nice little slender slivers. Uh, I cut the fat off just because, uh, you know, I want it to taste nice. So we were talking about Chantal and Pete's. And so even though, he, you know, they're acting like, no, we get along great. There's no problems. And even if they haven't f had a flat-out knockdown, drag-out fight, which... I don't think they ever will. I don't think Pete's and, and Chantal, Chantal talks a good game, you know, when she's, you know, she's one of those people that, you know, will just shut up, get in her car, lock the window and everything, and then turn around and flip off the group of girls. You know what I mean? Like she, she talks a good game when she knows there's no chance of any confrontation. Uh, you know, she, she's, She's the wannabe, once again, these are my opinions, she's the wannabe mean girl. She so desperately wanted to hang out with those mean girls and the cheerleader types in high school, but she didn't, you know. So she's got all the attitude and behaviors of an actual high school mean girl, but she's got none of the clout. She never did any of the things. She wasn't a cheerleader. She wasn't popular, you know, um, and it, I honestly don't think like, sure, do a lot of people, we end up kind of lacking in the way we were raised. Yeah, of course, you know, being, being a young parent or our parents did the best they could. Do I think Chantal was abused in any way? No, I think she's just naturally a terrible person. I think she was spoiled rotten and did she get enough attention from her mom? Well, maybe, maybe not. You know, they obviously paid enough attention where they realized the horrible things that the, she was doing as a youngster, like that story about, you know, she took her present back from the girl's house when she went home. Just, you know, I don't care what anybody says if I had behaved that way, I would have got slapped into next week by my father. So yeah, I think Chantal has just always been an entitled, spoiled asshat. 
So let's see, where was I going with that? Let's see what chat says. Oh, thanks, Aaron Tay. I was so worried that the sound was absolute crap. Yes, she. I think Chantal was spoiled. I think that there was a perceived, like, oh, her dad's not around. And so we need to make up for it. I think she was spoiled rotten. I think she could do no wrong, you know. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, she, she talks a good game when she's behind that locked door and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, Chantal, she couldn't con confront, confront a cockroach you know, that she's trying to kill in her own house. She just, you know, she's, she's all talk <laughs> and no do. And so, you know, her and Pete's haven't had that conversation. Plus there's the whole, Oh, he's my best friend forever. And, you know, so there's no way she's going to let people see that there's, you know, trouble in paradise, but she's, she's, yeah, I mean a piece of ham. Sorry. Um, Oh my God. It's so good. It's, it's, Seriously, it's got this really nice salt sugar balance. So you've got a really good like smoke to it, but there's a real nice sweetness to it also. Um, and it's super creamy and fresh. Uh, so yeah, Pete's and Chantal haven't had any knockdown drag out, not any way, shape, and or form. I don't think they will. It'll all be passive aggressive. <laughs> And like, you know, it'll be done. They'll deal with it online. Like if, if Chantal isn't going to pay the rent, you know, Pete's will probably hear about it online before she would ever let him know. I think this month's paycheck was shockingly low for Chantal. And I think she's really starting to stress out about what next month is going to look like. Like, um, if, how about put a one, put a, if you think Chantal is actively freaking out about her loss of income and is really stressed about what December's payday is going to look like, put a one in the chat. Um, if you think that she's still, if you think she thinks she's going to bounce back and it's not that bad and, you know, stuff like that, put a two. And like I said, I'm not here to argue or anything. And if you think two, that's awesome, man. I'll ask you, you know. Because I can't be all places at all times. And so. So one, 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 one. Chantal says everything is creamy and fresh. No kidding. Okay, Ginger says two. So Ginger, um, I know you have limited space. Like message me or write it in here. Like what, what, what about it makes you think that this is more performative and that she's not actually, she thinks she will always bounce back. Yes, that is true, Ginger. So do you think that she's just low key kind of freaking out because she knows that's what's expected of her, but she actually thinks it's going to be just fine. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I'm kind of snacking on ham. So I'm waiting for Ginger to answer, but we've got mostly ones. Oh, holy moly says two, but she, but she's wrong. She's delusional. Uh, well, how about we amend that? So do we think her freaking out is more her freaking out because she thinks that's what people think needs to happen or it's a performative freak out, but in, deep down in her heart of hearts, she thinks it's going to be just fine. So this is all performative, but it's actually not going to be fine. So one, if you think the freak out is real Two, if you think the freak out's performative, um, no, let me see. So one, if the freak out is real Two. If the freak out is performative, but she thinks it's going to be okay. Uh, and three, if you think the freak out's performative, she thinks it's going to be okay. Uh, but it's really not going to be okay. So two means she, she it's performative, uh, but she thinks it's going to be okay. And it is going to be okay. Versus three is freak out's performative. She thinks it's going to be okay, but it's not going to be okay. Good luck figuring out what I just said. I'm on a three for that one, but, or 
or like I said, just a plain old one. If you think she's freaking out because, you know, she actually thinks things are going down the drain. We got lots of threes, lots of threes. Grim, 15. <laughs> Stephanie, six. <laughs> Janet Peterson, five. You know what? No, no, no justice knows peace, 69. <laughs> you win the internet. You know what? I love every single one of you trollers with every atom of my being. I love this chap. Oh, is Denise going to sleep? Two? Xiaomaine two would be if Chantal's freaking out, but it's only performative. But, uh, but Chantal thinks it's going to be fine, and it is going to be fine. Versus three would be Chantal's freaking out is performative, but she thinks it's going to be fine. But in actuality, it's not going to be fine. So puppy breath 31. <clears throat> Good night. Is uh, Denise going to sleep? Good night, Denise. Thank you to Denise and Samoans for dropping in here. I really appreciate it, you guys. And for people that go live, if you go live and you're not seeing me in your lives, you know, hit me up, DM me, text me, do what you got to do. My, Tana Peterson 666, my notifications don't work at all. And I've done everything. I've re-uploaded the app. I've done everything. I cannot get YouTube to send me any kind of notification. So I, I, I don't know when people are going live. So yeah, if you're not seeing me in there, it's because I don't know. So if I, because realistically, I'm the most important thing on the planet, right? When you're getting ready to go live and you've got to talk in front of dozens of people, yeah, make it about me. But yeah, if you have a second, if you could please remind me, that would be great. And I'll admit, I'm sitting here munching on, <laughs> I'm eating a lot of ham. So Okay. Okay. I got a bunch of ham cut up. Let's see. We're going to go back to, yes, Denise NYC. Oh my God, her sandwiches. She makes me hungry. And she does, uh, she's doing vlogs. Yeah, she makes it look so easy. Okay. I'm going to put the ham in a little container and then I swear. So I personally think I'm kind of torn between one and three. I think it's three. I think Chantal, oh, my thing fell off. Chantal is freak. I think, I don't think it's all performative, but I think it's partly performative. And I think that she thinks it's really going to be okay. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think that, that, that the audience and people in general are truly done with it and this is it where this is like she's rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic or do you think she'll have another miraculous, you know, dun, 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 rebound? What do you guys think? Top 10% of the most important people on YouTube. Ha! So yeah, let me know. I'm sorry for the, the loud noises. I know it's annoying. Um, so Yes, please let me know. Um, do you think this is an actual? So if you think that this is it for Chantal's channel, like no matter what she does, she is not going to get the views back. And like she's hit official permanent lull cow status to the point where, you know, people, uh, if they can't find it on a reaction channel or on the farm, they just won't watch her because they won't give her the view. Or do you think there's some way for her to come back from this? So one done like dinner, rearranging deck tears on the Titanic, or two, if you think that, uh, you know, there's something she could do to salvage it. So be sure to keep stirring the soup. And like I said, if you just rolled in, this is not filth. This is, it's an old hood. There's nothing I can do to get it off. Uh, be sure to keep stirring your split pea soup though, because now's the time where it will actively burn to the bottom of your pot if you're not careful. Um, here's this. So we got lots of ones where people think there's no coming back from shot for Chantal. So I would do a poll because I know people can do polls, but I'm on an iPad. So I honestly, I, I don't think I can physically do a poll. Um, maybe next time I'll try to figure out how to do it. Well, yeah, you know, somebody can figure it out, but 
right now I'm kind of um in Kai's wheelhouse, like you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the ham. I really do kind of want to eat some of this, but I'm not going to be rude and eat in front of you guys. That's terrible. Uh, and plus, we have to finish talking about Chantal. And I swear, the future bad bakings and questionable cooking will not be this ridiculously long. This is just the maiden voyage. So. Okay, let's see what it says. Dax. Hey. Even though I say that she has lots to learn on those, but I see potential. Um, Grebo, do a beauty bite for the ham, I dare you. First bite for you. <laughs> beauty bite. Mm. <laughs> so fresh, so creamy. So, yeah, we'll start doing a beauty bite. Actually, I, <laughs> I got a good idea for the next beauty bite. <laughs> Can't do it right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of on the death knell for Chantal's channel. Uh, it's it, it really is. Um, and if you look at, so on salad, uh, when they were playing, they're saying thank you to the members, right? I think it's the couples channel, right? And it said, thank you, member this, thank you, member that. And it's listing the names out. There was only like 14 names or something. Like it wasn't a huge amount. And I know it's her, her uh, couples channel, but I, I really think that the people that are supporting her there are the ones that are kind of supporting her uh on the foodie beauty channel too and i just i i think that her memberships have taken a serious hit you know and she's charging what 4.99 a pop isn't that it like i don't even keep track um so hold on um let's see let's see i'm looking so does anybody know as far as how much she's charging. On uh, the Foodie Beauty channel. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Marathon live stream. Yeah, be, you guys, don't tempt me. If I can do your Grievo, I'll do a 24-hour stream. Just kidding. Uh, so four ninety nine USD. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks, No Justice. Thank you. Yeah, Lenny says on Apple it's six ninety nine. That's right because they have those extra fees. Oh, speaking of, so I found this deal this last Friday. It was like a twenty four hour deal, and it was like on the back pages. I was reading some tech article. I got three months of HBO Max for a buck ninety nine a month. So I basically got ninety days, three whole months of HBO Max for like six dollars and change, you know, for the tax. So it's not even it's it came out to like seven oh six or something with tax. And I've got a little timer set on my phone so the day before I can cancel it because then it automatically will resubscribe you for like on some ungodly amount. So I'm going to binge. I've binged uh, House of the Dragons, uh, Succession. You know, there's a few things that I'm just, because <laughs> economics. So let's see. Yeah, 30, so Apple has a 30% fee, Apple taxes. So if people are subscribing to things, it's like not only, rather than, yeah, it's just, Apple's evil, like it's, but then again, I guess they warn you in the terms of service. Um, so let's see, we were talking about Chantal. Um, <clears throat> her channel is going down. So she was showing off her members on Salad's channel and there was so few. So I can imagine like the amount of uh, channel members she has on her main channel is very low. 
you know, she's not making much money. And I asked people at the beginning of the stream, but let me go to Playboard. Like how much last week, Chantal, I think she made a total of uh, $58 in seven days off of the streams. Like her, 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 if people don't even bother trying to uh, send super chats anymore because salad is always lurking. And so that's the thing. So when she sat down in front of the family size platter of, you know, the, the food for the barbecue, a family size platter. So a, her head looks so incredibly small because the slimming filters are so desperately trying to slim her out, but they're really focused on like the face and so her head looked so tiny and squeezed in and it just looked and, you know, you saw the, it, it, it made her, her body look more disproportionate because it was trying so desperately to slim out and smooth the face and stuff that it looked like she had this huge fat hump. You know, it just, it did not do her any favors leaving that filter on. Um, so she had that. And then, uh, you know, she's sitting, and the other thing he pointed out is her mouth is the same size of, as her eyes. Yeah. Tell me you're using a filter without telling me you're using a filter. So she's sitting in front of that trough of that, you know, family size platter, and she's eating that in the, the, the living room. It's, it's not well lit. Um, and it was so awkward because then instead of her sitting down with the camera and doing the, the mukbang, the mukbang, you know, because she's starving, guys, um, is Salad was sitting there and he was filming it, but he was just far enough away that you couldn't. So she would hold the food up, but she was too far away. So it just made it that much more awkward. You know, it's like she was sitting there filming into this tripod, but he was actively filling in it. And so for me, it just added to the cringe. Like just I was so uncomfortable and I don't watch on her channel like I will go without rather than give her, let her get a view from me. It, no, it will not happen. Uh, but yeah, and it wasn't until later when she set up her little tripod, you know, and had it sat lower. And so she could hold the food up to the camera. But yeah, it was so, so cringy. And her head looked so tiny. In fact, here, let me, so I'm the queen of screenshots. So let me see if I, I, I I've been trying to get better. Um, I, I always tell everybody, like, if I died tomorrow, somebody needs to get to my house and break into my iPad and delete all my screenshots because I look like a crazy person because I have so many screenshots. Um, let me see if I can find the, <coughs> with her. Um, so like with this one, so this one, when she was getting the, hold on, I've got a uh, split P stuck but so when she was getting the abaya you oops you can see okay hold on i'm just like i said i'm going i'm going full blown kaya um okay so on this one <laughs> where she's you know do you see her her mouth is bigger than her eyes you know and but you know she i don't think she has like the slim, slim filters on, like, yeah, they're smoothing and everything, but, you know, her head isn't ridiculously undersized versus uh, that food platter one. Oh, man, I don't know if I took a screenshot from that one because I was so busy, uh, but it looks like she's wearing a modified body condom. Let me see, pretty beauty, because the slimming filter was trying so hard. Hold on. Um that it just it 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 made her look incredibly uh distorted okay let me see if i can afford it okay she's sitting in front of the platter let me screenshot it real quick okay hold on okay so versus this one okay i'll just go like this so let me cut the sides off it. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I'm trying to do this in real time. I'm so not accurate. Like if we were having a real life conversation, this is how it would go because I'm not. So this is from her in front of that platter, right? See how tiny her head looks? And it looks like she has that 
huge fat roll. You know, it's just not. Okay, so that versus. Let me go. So, you've, yeah, you've got. That's me making fun of. <laughs> so, yeah, this one. Like I said, so you see how tiny her face looks because it's trying to slim. You just see, and her eyes and her mouth are about the same side. That is not to be confused with this one where I can't get them side by side because, you know, but you see how, okay, I don't need to keep pointing this out. So she had those filters on it. She just, her head looks so disproportionately tiny. Um, and when she turns sideways, she just looked absolutely ridiculous ridiculous you know and it's I think she's gotten so accustomed to seeing herself that way that she doesn't see it for what it is you know it's it's some Barnum and Bailey level of circus act she's got going on um, let me turn see what everybody in chat saying but she sat there and she was eating that thing and holding it up and it was just it was so cringy it was so cringy like you know and, you know, you can go, I go to the farms or a reaction channel and, you know, I can just watch it. I have to admit some of the reaction channels I used to like watching. I just, you know, I don't necessarily want to spend six hours <laughs> watching, especially on a 30 minute video. It's like, ah. so, um, you know, I try to find the ones, but I don't necessarily, I like to watch her streams. You guys let me know if you feel the same way. I like to watch her streams in their entirety because some of the things that I find interesting or telling other people that are uh, trimming it down, that unless they're just cutting out dead air, um, I feel that some things will get missed. So I, I have to watch it in its entirety because there are little things that she says to me that are telling you know, because I've I so I stopped watching them just being clipped down because I find about 50 percent of the things that are not included are things that I actually find useful. So that's just me. Uh, want me to send you the community post? Yes. Is there a community post? Can you send it in? Um, send it uh, discord. She, she she's put out a new one. New one. Grebo read foodie beauties community post. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Stephanie, uh, Kaya or milk tea. Those, those are my, yeah. Streams become soul sucking. Um, and that's just it. Like, so that's the one thing is like when we couldn't go, I'll go hang out in certain places to smack talk. Like I like it to be kept moving along, but I don't like things clipped out. You know, I like to hear it. Um, okay. I'm waiting and we'll look. Um, <laughs> I've got ham in my teeth. Okay. Laura, Laura's going to send it to me. Check her out. Thanks. And that's just it. Like I've tried to explain to other people. They're like, Oh, do you have a hobby or do you have a, a favorite show you like to watch? And you're like, Oh, like I tried, <laughs> I tried with my sister. She told me to seek psychiatric help. Like people don't understand. They think there's something wrong with you. And so it's very hard to find people to partake of this insanity you know, with us. And so when our community gets blown up, it sucks because I want somewhere where we can sit and chat. And this looks terrible. Sorry, guys. It's just nothing to do. It's rust. All right. Okay. Laura sent the community post. Okay. So Lolo FC, welcome. Harmony in life. I said hello. Okay. I am going to look. And if you've gotten here and I didn't say hello, I'm really sorry. I, I need to figure out a better method. And so, yeah, I hope I didn't scare anybody off because, okay. All right. Okay. Foodie beauty four hours ago. <laughs> so this, I'll just read it and then we'll, let's see. Okay. Foodie beauty. This was about four hours ago, at least when the screenshot was taken. Um, you make my day so much brighter. You are my light in darkness. You make me laugh, smile, and never sad. You help motivate me to keep doing. No, you help motivate me. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to chew on my nails. You help motivate me to keep 
going and become a better version of myself. I have so much fun with you. Every day is an adventure with you. You make me feel make me feel like you make me feel like we are the only people in the world because your love is all encompassing. I thank God in my prayers for bringing you to me. You know exactly the feelings without even having to without even having to tell you this. That doesn't make, you know f- exactly the feelings without even having to tell you this. Um, I'm so in love with you and look forward to living my best life with you forever. Most importantly, though, you take care of me. Before I met you, I felt like I was the only one in a relationship. Nothing has ever, and I, nothing was ever, and I never felt security like I do now. I feel taken care of and loved and beautiful, all of me. I true, I love you, period, truly. This guy's such bad grammar. So, and let's see. Yep. And the, the picture that came with it is, thank you, Laura, is, so I'm going to save this in my, uh, my screenshot so I can have even more crazy Chantal stuff. Say. So here's the photo that got saved with it. So she has some sort of slimming filter on because see her mouth, her mouth is only slightly bigger than her eyes, but it's not complete because it would do something to Sala's face. So it's mostly just a smoother, but yeah, this is the photo that came with it. Uh, My thoughts on that. Do, do, Do you want me to read it through one more time? It's just an English major there. You know, and like I said, I'm, I'm not making fun of Chantal. I'm not fat shaming her. The, the reason I am discussing these things is because Chantal has put these things out onto the Internet. And if she was just some innocuous, you know, individual, I wouldn't care. You know, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And I know that. But, you know, I know that there are things I don't know. And I I I. Every day, I don't say I try, I be the best person that I can be. And when I screw up, I admit it. Chantal is a vile human being. She actively does not care what anybody thinks, but continues to do absolutely vile things that time and time again prove that we are all right when we say that the center of Chantal's world is Chantal. And, you know, I'm not getting into the whole diagnosis and narcissist, but when you deal with somebody that's narcissistic, narcissistic, the only person that matters to Chantal is Chantal, you know, and it's like um, she doesn't care about anybody else. The only reason she cared about grandma dying was because it got her attention. And I see what's going on here is she wasn't that thrilled with uh Sala, not at all. We've heard it time and time again. Like she hid in the the French lover's closet. And then there was that Christian guy in high school where the dad had to chase her off. She's one of those people that once she gets it in her mind that you're you're hers. And, you know, you've heard her say like, oh, I just need to be able to get in there. Once I can get in there, he'll, he'll know that he loves me. And this right here is the first step of Chantal starting to catch some feelings for salad and you know the full scale stalker arc is going to start she's starting to catch feelings for this guy she's starting to care and the bottom line is is once now that she's crossed that line if this dude rejects her in any way she's gonna go full uh jody whatever her name is you know the crazy diaper wearing astronaut lady yeah chantal is gonna go full on creeper stalker you know, um, let's see, I'm trying to keep up with what chat's saying. And so I, she's already going that way. Cause on the front end, remember how it was awkward and like there, she just, she would lean away and she just had no interest. Notice now he might still kind of be given the body language. He's not interested, but she's getting a whole lot more interested on in, you know, yalla. So she, she wants to hang on him. She wants to touch him, you know, stuff like that. 
this, the, I don't think that's performative. Like maybe in her mind that's performative, but no, she's writing that. And she's writing it in extremely poor English. I mean, the, the, come on, Chantal. I mean, I know sixth graders could do better. Though. She's writing that because she's caught some feels for, uh, Nad, it's not Nad, sorry. I just brought up McStabby. She's caught feelings for salad now. And now um, it's going to become about her pride. So now he's now an objective. Oh, I'll get you or else. And so she's going to get super clingy, super stalker-like, you know, because it's become a game. Challenge accepted. You know, you will love me. And so she's going to metaphorically start trying to move her stuff into his apartment. Because if I could just get in there, you know, I know he'll like me. Let me see what chat says. I forgot about Diaper Jody, right? He said he feels the same. Yeah, he says he feels the same. <laughs> just one look on his face. It's like that dude must be really desperate because to get into Canada. And the thing is, doesn't matter how long they're married, you know, with two bankruptcies and stuff like that. And here's the deal with the CRA. It's not if, it's when. When they finally decide they want her to pay their taxes, she's not going to get a phone call. She's not going to get a letter. They will just go in and freeze everything. Her credit cards, her PayPal, her Venmo, her bank account, everything will just be frozen. And she will be screwed. People won't even be able to PayPal her money or Venmo because they will actively freeze these things from what I've been told. So am I a lawyer? No. Do I work for the CRA, the Canadian Revenue Authority? No. But this is what I've heard from a very credible source. So um, let's see. Got to get some work done. I'll see you. Okay. Bye, holy moly. Bye. That's so sad. So, okay. Thanks, holy moly, for being here. Uh, and thank you, everybody. So I guess we can start wrapping this up because I've been we've been on for over four hours. So what I'll do is let me cut a piece of the cornbread and I'll put some of this pea soup in a bowl and then we'll finish up like that. How's that sound? So Chantal's starting to catch feelings. The filters aren't working. Um, and I'll, I'll finish up with this is like, have you noticed that her behaviors, you know, cause I, I think salad, he, you know, he's a real man, he's a strong man and he was putting his foot down, but it's like, um, it's like when you're babysitting just that obnoxious toddler whose parents lets them do anything. Uh, I think Sal is realizing that there are just some hills he doesn't want to die on. And it's just easier to let her do some of these things because he's exhausted from having to fight with her because Chantal, she is nothing else. She is persistent. And she's learned that. I feel she's learned that with her family, that if I keep asking and pushing, I'm eventually going to get my way. And these behaviors have been uh, reinforced throughout her entire life, you know, they've not been shut down. And so I think it's to the point where she just drives him nuts. So he's letting her fine eat on camera fine, you know? And so I don't think she's bathing that often. Uh, I think they're in some sh kind of shared living accommodation or something. Cause did you see when she was doing that kitchen cooking and we won't even talk about that tonight, but that kitchen, like she could, Towards the end, she kept leaning more and more on the wall. So the one wall was there. The other wall is right here. That place is tiny with the little plug-in cooker. But did you see her where she said, okay, there was somebody standing right there. Do you think these feet were Salas? Like, because, and the thing is, is if you look at these feet, they almost look like, I don't know if the person had toenail polish on or what but if you look at these feet they almost look like they have some kind of blackening or like they're like they're older like they're an older person's feet like if you look at the bottom of this one is it almost looks like they have that vitiligo going on and the ends were black so you see and this is just me screenshotting those were the feet where she said okay, to somebody that was standing in the kitchen. So was that salad that came out and where, or maybe that's hair, but you know, to me, it looks like, like I said, it looks like an older person's or is it fingernail polish, but see that one is dark, that one and that one, or maybe it's hair, like dark hair. Uh, but do you think those are s salads? feet you know or am i just reading into it Let's see what chat says and then we'll get going 
Yeah, that's not his feet is what Ginger says. Oh, those, yeah, those are not Chantel filtered feet. <laughs> do you think do you think that that's salad? I I just don't think those are salad's feet, but nail fungus. There you go, Desiree. It could be nail fungus or nail polish. Exactly. It could be that. I tend to keep my toe hair crimped, right? So I know I'm putting my feet up, but you'll see it in my blog. I haven't seen my own toenails. Oh, that hurt. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ow, I shouldn't have done that. Um, oh, so um, do you think those were salad's feet? Were those ham salad's feet? It's the chaperone's feet, feet content, right? Toenail fungus from communal showers. Yeah. And like when Chantal says, oh, we all keep our Crocs. I like wearing my Crocs. Nobody in their right mind wears shower slippers unless like in college when, you know, in the dorm or if you're in jail. Those are the only times college or jail or maybe like on a camping trip and they got an outdoor shower. Nobody wears Crocs in the shower. You cannot tell me that Chantal is going to have something that she needs to slip off and on her feet. She struggles to even breathe when she's walking. Do you really think she has the, 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 the drive to have to bend over, you know, and get the Crocs on and then, you know, and I'm sure she probably has the back part flipped up so she can slide her feet in and out. It's a communal shower. Nothing says communal shower more than, I don't know, shower Crocs. Let's see. Footgate. Exactly. And I do think that those feet look female and I could be wrong. Tony. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are killing me. Pernilla. No. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't think it was his feet. I think it's communal. I think wherever they've moved, I think it's larger. Um, <laughs> hold on. My, uh, my battery's dying in my headphone. Hold on. Actually, what I can do is, hold on. Can you guys still hear me? Hit one if you can hear me. If the sound quality is okay. Hit two if it sounds terrible. One, if it doesn't sound too bad. Two, if it's terrible. Nobody's hitting anything. Not great sound quality. You can hear me, but... So, one, if it's a good sound quality. Two, if it leaves something lacking. Like you would like... So, does it sound muffled? Okay, hold on, you guys. Talk amongst yourself. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Okay. Hit one if you can hear me and it sounds good. Hit two if it sounds terrible. It's tiny mic time. <laughs> so one, if this sounds okay um, and you can hear me. Two, if it sounds like absolute garbage. So we got ones, we got ones, we got perfects. Okay. Sweet. All right. Thank you. What did Stephanie say? I'm trying to go back and see. Uh, tiny mic, yes, I need to do a tiny mic um, video. The thing is, is when I'm, I I have to film all day for these vlogs, believe it or not, it takes a hot minute. I got nothing. And after I lost that, that vlog yesterday, I'm not kidding. I spent so much time editing it. Like it was, it was Oscar worthy as far as the editing and the sounds and the, I had great jokes. Like I had planned it out to be this epic vlog and I lost it. Like, yeah. Did I cry? Yeah, I did. I'll admit it. I cried like a bitch. I was really upset. Um, okay, I'm going to, the the split pea soup is nice and thickened up. We'll finish up this conversation, um, and I'll dish up the soup and a piece of bread, and we'll wrap this up. So I think they're still in some sort of communal living situation, and is it like these are friends or family, like they've put together a place for them out in the garage or something, or is this like, you know, is this a family home where they've added something in? Because, you know, you don't just add in plumbing, and there was a sink in there, but it's not that hard, like in a garage or something like that, to have like where there's, you know, some plug-ins and like a sink, you know, and just to throw in some count, you know, some uh, custom countertops. Bitch, she went to Ikea. 
and got the stainless steel shelf. But sorry, not sorry. Um, let's see. Does Kuwait have a YMCA? Right? I don't know. Uh, okay, good night, DG. Thank you for coming in. And I am wrapping it up because we have been going for a ridiculously long amount of time. So to DJ, thank you. Um, I'm going to cut this. So I, I, I still think it might be some kind of communal living. Um, the place is still small. I, I, I can't remember. Chantal, Chantal's not shown herself sitting down, but I'm wondering, uh, do you think she's more conscious of not throwing herself down on the couch now the way she does? And half the problem with Chantal is like, don't you remember <clears throat> throwing yourself on the couch and your grandma would be like, don't throw yourself on the couch. So I think partly she tries to sit down daintily, but at some point gravity takes over. You know, she kind of looks like, like Chantal's body type is, hold on. So she's just so large so <laughs> Chantal's body type like just to sit sit down is you know at some point those little toothpick legs they're not gonna work out so when she sits down even if she wants to sit down slowly at some point um you know gravity's gonna work and she's just gonna go down and you get that much weight and that much of a spot and she's used to throwing herself down you know it's 450, well, I'd say 425, but, um, you know, how much pounds per square inch you're getting of, you know, because there's, what is it, tensile strength and compression, but yeah, think about it. So she, she can't, you know, she can't, she could be more careful, but after a certain point, um, I'll put Chantal back over here. <laughs> she needs to get eaten because, um, <laughs> yeah. So, and that couch looks like it's very low. Like we have a certain standard in the Western world for the height of our couches, you know, what's acceptable, you know, and they tend to be a little bit on the, the, you know, higher side, unless you get a mid century modern, which can sit a little lower. I don't know. What's the standard in the Middle East? Do they have a lower center of gravity? Do their couches and stuff sit slightly lower than ours? Because they have much more of a floor culture than we do. A, not floor, ground culture. You know what I mean. All the ones in the chat for more lives. <laughs> yes, I will do more lives, I promise. <clears throat> so careful, aware. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, <clears throat> and so Chantal might be more aware, but you can't have that much weight coming straight down. You're going to break things. So are they shorter, too? Yeah, that's my question, Stephanie, is I think I think they might actually be shorter, you know, more a futon or a, sh a shorter height. So and while you guys are doing that, hello, Edna online. Hey, Keely. So we've been going for a little while, for like four hours. So I'm going to get some soup. <laughs> I'm going to dish up the soup and a piece of cornbread. Um, okay, let me go like this. <clears throat> Sorry. I know it's making noise. So these are all things for us to talk about. You know, we can sit down and have this conversation. Because there's, like I said, I, I wasn't planning on being on this long and so I've been on a little longer than I planned and I didn't really have anything <laughs> worked out I'm trying to make sure that my okay so <clears throat> my split pea soup I will post the recipe but it's basically a good way to use up uh, all your so <clears throat> we'll go like this it smells absolutely Mm, it smells really good. Um, I tend to not add a ton of salt to my stuff because you can always add more salt to your own dish, but you can't take it away. So that, <clears throat> and I've got the cornbread, believe it or not, is still warm. And, okay, got that. Sorry, all the beep, and that's my induction cooker as a, uh, <clears throat> let's see okay. oh this bread it smells so fresh so creamy 
Okay. <clears throat> I don't have a one of the... Okay. Let's see. Is it going to stick to the bottom is the question. <clears throat> I greased it real well, so... Okay. I'll, I'll post a picture on my community tab. So we'll go like this. Okay. Okay, I'll turn it over this way so it looks a little nicer. So I'll post a picture on my community tab, though, with the celery, like the toppings on it. Let me see how it tastes. Oh, sorry, my legs about gave out. All right. Creep is officially having problems walking. Um, oh, it, like, no kidding, you guys. It really does. It tastes really good. It really does. I'll put a picture on the community tab. Um, we have, let's see, whimsical, like equestrian, someone 50 pounds lighter who had bad balance in the saddle can mess up a horse's back. Yeah, exactly. So you can get so much weight coming straight down. It's just not good. A sweet bread, a sweet cornbread person or a normal cornbread? I'm more of a normal cornbread person. Though uh, the best sweet cornbread I ever had was... Uh, my old roommate, she she chose to go get her PhD down uh, in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia. So I went down there because I had my 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 research, and they were having a uh, a symposium down there, and they had a section like they had somebody that backed out, and they needed somebody to talk about volcanoes, and so yeah, so I got it. But the whole point, the best sweet cornbread I ever had, the best fried green tomatoes. Oh my god. I had ever had and then they have this dessert a cookie they're called pralines they're like oh my god but yeah they're sweet cornbread and they're fried green tomatoes the, the hands down the best I had ever had was in Georgia um so yeah but I like myself a normal cornbread um I'm not going to try to decorate these things up on here um I want to I'll put the photo on the community tab I would like to do more bad baking and questionable cooking they will not be five hours long like this one, but this was my first time. So um, thank you to everybody. Oh, hey, EP. Like I said, if I haven't said hi to you guys, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm thinking Fridays after 5.30 p.m., which is 8.30 East Coast market time, which is sometime in the morning, you know, or late, late, late at night. No, it'd be early morning. Or it'll be afternoon in the UK. And then in Australia, it'll be tomorrow. So everything's always tomorrow. But just, just Fridays after 5.30-ish Pacific time. Everybody give it a thought. I did a community tab poll, and that's what people said. But I don't know if it will always be Fridays. Like, I'm, I'm you know, um, th there is a poll in my community tab. If you want to go in there and leave a comment about, like, I've had time to think and this these days because you know i want to try to get as many people here so we can have fun smack talk do some cooking uh so yes bad baking questionable cooking so yes we will definitely be doing that weekend ish in the afternoons ish doesn't mean we can't do it some other day besides fridays um so yes thank you to my mods thank you so much laura holy moly uh, thank you to everybody who's actually sat here with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry for loud noises. I'm sorry if I got muffled. I'm sorry if I didn't see your chat. Uh, I'm working with what I got. So, okay, guys. Um, hey, Chantal, say my name. And with that, Kribo's out. Hold on. I don't know how to turn this off. Does anybody know how to turn this off? Okay, I'm going to fiddle with it. So, bye, guys. Okay.